Wait, where's the stream? I'm confused. There it is. Where is it? All right, welcome Whoa. everyone. I was like, Hello. why am I here Hello. this twice? To another <laughs> episode of Towers and Gods. Welcome to episode nine. We are making a lot of progress here on the second floor. I mean, kind of. We're taking our time, but the episodes are flying by. Uh, so yeah, happy to have everyone here. Uh, looks like the chat is blowing up. Thank you all for joining us. A uh, couple yeah. of announcements here at the beginning. We hit our goal last week, which means our like oh! of 300 likes, which Let's means go. we Let's will go, chat. be opening up a channel in the Discord. I, I talked to my mods and we decided that the way we're going to do this is we're going to open up fan submissions. So stay tuned for that. You all can submit your own custom made emojis and then we will uh, potentially work from there. Why does the- What I like to see, how about we set a new like goal this week? Oh, hey. that sounds good. That sounds Feeling good. That. We hit 300 last week. Do we want to go 305? 350. I'm raising 350. That's a little <laughs> ambitious. <laughs> you think 305? A little bit, Joe. Make a little <laughs> I'm sorry. Little I'm sorry. <laughs> you're, right. you're right. You're right. The cast has spoken. 350 will be our like goal. Um, I'll find some way to set up another kind of reward for, for that. Maybe more, even more emojis or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, really quick, uh, for those of you who are just joining, uh, Towers and Gods is D&D plus Tower of God, and these are our cast members. We have Isaiah as Gasu. Yo. We have Milios as Brack. Hello there. We have Sun Wu as Wu. Hi. That was pretty simple. I like it. We have well, Hannah. Gasu <laughs> stole my yo, dude. That's how I open uh, every game. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because normally like, I don't introduce off. myself as Gasu because he's so like monotone. So I was like, let me try a Gasu intro. And I, okay. I instinctively took wounds. I'm sorry. Fair enough. Should All right, we have yelled it louder. <laughs> uh, we have Hannah as Eden. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. And we have other Joe as Damien Frog. How I've waited for this day. <laughs> you always gotta top everyone, don't you, Joe? You always gotta do it. You, you put me last, so I have feel like I have to do <laughs> something. Fair. That is fair. Someday I'll mix it up. So yeah, um, that is the main thing I wanted to talk about. Um, another thing, even for the cast members, um, we now have it so that when we cut to the individual party members, their stats are listed in the bottom right corner. Which is pretty cool. Ooh. That way you can kind of get some, oh, some info Lord. about the cast member while you're uh, while you're looking at them. So that's pretty Love cool. To see it. Yep. Okay. Um, that's one thing. Uh, I'll do some more polls in the chat today in case you all want to um, to join in on that. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. How are you guys feeling going into episode nine? I got my oh. my Sherlock glasses on, bro. I'm ready to do mm. some investigating. I have a feeling that something is a foot some sort of game maybe mm -hmm. we don't trust uh, robots out here stop this oh. <laughs> at the end of the day we get vengeance for my son sponge all right That's what we're doing oh no oh y'all nobody cares about sponge man it's so sad i was re-watching that part of the video and i just see son going sponge and i just see isaiah just laugh and you know Miller so expression and i'm like wow this is how we're treating his death huh <laughs> oh no. Oh, yeah, someone in chat earlier said, can't wait to see Sponge today. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be exciting. So anyway, yeah, oh, you all know what happened last time. That was just last week. Probably don't need to do a huge recap, but the main thing was that we met up with Fluxvalk, got to meet this character, this person who has intimate knowledge about the, the party. And we got some <laughs> answers, but probably even more questions for the most part. Um. And afterwards, Stexa came across the dead body of Sponge, and uh, Scopio Ripped decided to tell the main party, hey, I think a ranker might be responsible for this. So that is where we are at now. Um, currently, we're gonna pick up right where we left off, right in Scopio's office, as he finishes telling you that he believes there is a traitor on the second floor. The reason I've told you all this is because I'm going to need your help. And I don't ask this lightly. 
Because I fully understand that if the traitor is who I think it is, one of the testing administrators, your lives could be in jeopardy. And so I would ask that you only assist me in observing your teachers during class. That is all. No other external activities. Don't go approaching them unless necessary. Don't do anything reckless. I only ask that you observe them, and if anything seems off to you, you will report to me. And you can tell Hope he's, you, uh... like, stressed out about the situation. Look, I don't have time for this. Does it make sense if you're one of said five teachers that we would report solely to you? Something's not right here. Shouldn't we be reporting to Mr. Regulus? And where's the footage? You saw me steal the key card. Couldn't you have seen this coming? I'm afraid I cannot tell you everything, and I understand that must be frustrating. However, I only ask for your assistance, and I cannot divulge all the secrets of the second floor to you all. I have a job. All of us testing administrators have a job, and we failed tonight. That does not I mean I will tell you everything. Now, if you wish to speak with Mr. Ari Regulus, I suppose that does make sense. We can talk more about this tomorrow. Mr. Frog, you have a question, as always. We know what sort of motive a, the, a teacher would have for killing a student? I don't understand why that would happen. I mean, it would be so easy to do it. Be them Seems being a bit overkill. And all. Exactly. And why Are you sponge? Sure the teacher? That is something we must decide and or something we must find out ourselves. We must divulge that information for, from whoever is responsible. Because I cannot for the life of me figure out why Mr. Yu would have been targeted. And so, we shall do our best to figure that information out as well. If you wish to speak with the other teachers, I suppose that is fine, but just please do not go asking unnecessary questions. Each of us have a job here on the second floor, and while you may think I am solely responsible for the security of the floor, that is not true. We share in this responsibility. All right, so if you share in the responsibility, who was technically monitoring the common area during this event? That is the issue. The person who was supposed to be monitoring the event I suppose I can tell you this, as this is vital information, was Charity. Okay. Charity was currently supposed to be keeping tabs on what was happening. However, when we went to look at the footage, just briefly just now, the lighthouses were not in the correct positions, and so we couldn't... He's, he's very frustrated. We couldn't find anything. I take it everybody, all the teachers, know the position of these lighthouses? That is correct. They were supposed to patrol specific areas, and while they were patrolling, they were not the areas that they were supposed to be. This leads me to believe that they were meddled with. Teacher, how hard would it be for someone to, let's say, hack a lighthouse? For many rankers, this would be quite simple. However, Charity, an expert light bearer, her lighthouse. Would a robot be able to do it? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Milio has been saying that H1 is guilty so long. I... <laughs> I'm starting to think like this is some like a tinge of racism behind this. Shit. Like, what do you have against oh, robots, no. bro? Like, what do robots do to you? True. <laughs> they killed me like 45 times this morning. That's what I told you. <laughs> oh, I see. The motive has been revealed. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> Miss H1 should not be judged based on her appearances, Mr. Bronson. The person responsible could have been anyone. All of the rankers Dopio. on this floor are talented, gifted individuals, hence why they were chosen to teach new regulars arriving in the tower. Yes, Mr. Neymar. Why did you call us five in here specifically? We're not the only regulars on this floor. That is a good question. If 
you wish to share information with your other fellow regulars, that is fine by me. Sponge's death will be made public. That That's not the issue. question I asked you. I'm getting to I the said... question, Mr. Neymar. The reason I selected the five of you, for a number of small reasons, primarily because I know the five of you were a team, and I understand that the five of you are each in a different class. Therefore, I felt it was wise to select you, as each of you can monitor a different teacher. Does that appease you, Mr. Neymar? For now. <sighs> Mr. Frog. Can we bring other regulars into the investigation with us? If we find them trustworthy. Like I said, that is fine. As long as you do not put them or yourselves in direct danger or jeopardy. This is something... The investigation itself will be left to us rankers. I only wish for your cooperation in case we have questions or in case you notice something out of the ordinary. Do not go out of your way to investigate something that would lead you or your fellow regulars into danger. That said, if you have information that you wish to share with your friends, that is fine. Mama Scopio, you seem stressed. And I'm a little bit pissed right now, so I'm just going to ask you this. Don't be too mad about it. I'm sure it couldn't be the case, but I have to make sure. You and Regulus wouldn't say kill a regular for some sick, sordid little test for us, would you? We would not have killed a regular, no. This is not part of some test or some grand scheme. To most of mm. us, regulars come and go within weeks' time. We see thousands, tens of thousands of new regulars here every day. Unless there was a reason that Sponge, of all people, would have been targeted even then, it is directly against the rules of this floor. So no, we would not have. All right, that's all I need to know. Mr. Can Scopio, we... is it possible that a ranker could have hidden among the regulars on this in this current class? That is impossible, Miss Eden. You cannot hide a ranker's power like that. Nothing could allow you to do that. And besides, even if it took the form of thorough... someone else. <sighs> not Fluxfalk again, I swear. This is not the issue. Who did this, whoever did this, was not that individual. You hear me? We've done thorough background checks on each of you. We know who each of you are. All right. You must not underestimate the second floor. Are we able to link a motive? Why did Sponge have to die? And that is what us rankers will be deciding. However, if you wish to discuss that amongst yourselves, I will not stop you. Are we allowed to look at Sponge's records? No, entering you are not. Any private records of the second floor are strictly off limits. And what have you done with questions. Sponge's things? There's <sighs> that is not for you to know, Mr. Wu. No, you slipped up there, Scopio. Said there's still... Huh. All right, I'll be back. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Yeah, please I continue think... going about your classes. Do not break any rules. And if you see anything out of the ordinary, let me know. Pay attention and don't put yourselves in danger. A lot There's one happens. last thing you should probably know. I'm sorry, Mr. Frog. Go ahead. Go ahead, please. <sighs> he takes off okay. his glasses and just starts rubbing his eyes. There was a magazine found next to Sponge's body. Nothing out of the ordinary, but we think that may have been why he went into the common room. What was on the front cover of the magazine? Various models of the tower. Was Brooke one of them? Baby I'm, sure, I'm sure she was. That doesn't matter. It was well, I had the magazine. Sponge would want me to have it. No, this Wait. magazine counts as evidence and us rankers. <laughs> Gosh dang it. <laughs> I'm sure he would have. I'm, I'm sure he would have. That, no, that counts as evidence. And that is all. 
Now please return to your rooms. You will of course not be reducted for your points based on being up past curfew. Just go to your rooms and sleep. There will be an announcement in the morning. It has been a long day. So I agree with Scopio. We should just sleep on it and <clears throat> go from there. I... Hold up. One second. You, 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 you said that the lighthouses were messed with and that you couldn't find charity. But there was also a magazine with Brooke there. But you got on me about robots? <laughs> the robot is the most logical one. We know where charity was. We just do not know how her lighthouses were so in disarray. And Charity's not in any trouble for shirking her duties tonight. That is not any of your concern, Mr. Wu. May I ask if an observer can mess with a lighthouse? Rack, please. I I, I do not wish for you to pin the blame on anyone. I wish for you to observe and report to me. If anything is out of the ordinary, that is all. Do all of the teachers have alibis for tonight? That is something we are currently looking into. Do you have an alibi for tonight? I was here in my office. That doesn't Anyone sound to like an alibi. That? I do not have to answer to you, Miss Eden, or any of you. I simply asked that you observe in your classes and see if anything, even outside of classes, seems out of the ordinary. If one of your fellow regulars noticed something, anything of the sort. Now, please. I'm just, I'm having trouble wrapping my mind around this because if we're trying to look for something out of the ordinary, yet we don't know what technically out of the ordinary things we're looking for, how are we going to be of any help just observing in class? We do that every day. And there it is. If the alibis are, I was in my office or I'm clearing myself, how is that going to help us? We're going to trust our teachers implicitly. At least that's the groundwork that's been worked on. I'm asking of so that far. you do not trust your teachers anymore and you raised a good point that you shouldn't even trust me i will talk to mr regulus you can report to him instead if that seems the better course of option which i believe it may be i'm asking that you do not trust anyone your fellow regulars who may know something your fellow teachers my fellow teachers me any of us could have been responsible i understand that and that is why i'm asking you not to put yourselves in danger or run into any risk. <sighs> but without any of my input, without any biased information, if you notice something, <clears throat> to let me know. If I tell you this person wasn't there or this person was doing this, it will influence how you view your teachers and I want an unbiased perspective. Does that make sense? Yes, but one last question. Where was Nissan? Like I said, we are currently looking into the locations of the teaching administrators when this event happened. I will oh. let you know more information in the future if it does manage to help you in your search. All right, all right, we got it. Guys, let's go. Mama yeah. Scopio has uh, a magazine to me. I mean, uh, evidence last, to go over. Last and final question for me. You said that 10 minutes ago. What is it, Miss Eden? <laughs> all right. <sighs> I know you said this had nothing to do with Fox Falk, and that seems to be the general consensus of the teachers. I spoke with my teacher, Nissan, previously about Fox Falk because I'm very uneasy with their presence on this floor. Is that the general consensus held by all of the teachers? Or is this. I am not here a for small talk, Miss Eden. Fox Falk is a regular on this floor. Do not come to me for asking questions about Fox Falk. I simply this isn't you to help you find getting this doesn't have anything to do, do you I'm trying I'm trying to understand that if the consensus of the teachers upon this one person is consistent or if this is an anomaly that's what I'm trying to suss out I'm trying to suss out the differences between the actual administrators I'm not worried about flux folk right now 
I'm trying to see if there's a difference in the pattern of opinion on this person. Well, perhaps you should ask them yourselves, and I'm currently not in the mood for more questions. Good night. Eat it, eat it. Come on. And he points to the door. <laughs> Some investigator you are. And I turn on my heel and I leave. Enjoy the magazine, Mama Scopio. I will do my best, Mr. Scopio. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Following behind and my mother under my breath. It's either the happy one or the robot. And I just keep walking out the room. All right. Everyone, you leave. And then as you enter into the hallway, you look around and all the other offices are empty. Regulus' doors are closed. You don't see anyone else in the vicinity. It's about 10, 15 on your pockets. And the pockets just pop up saying, curfew, curfew. We're not, we wouldn't get, I mean, we're not going to get punished, right? I don't really care. I'm going to the common room to investigate. Anyone want to come with me? I, I want to um, go check out Sponge's room. Does anybody know where it is? Ooh. I don't. Oh. I guess I'll find out. I guess um, tomorrow I'll figure out more about what Flux Bolt meant and if they had anything to do with it. I go towards uh, my dorm. Brack, you're heading to your dorm. Eden, you're going towards the common area. Wu and yep. Gasu and Damien, what did you say? I'm going back to the dorm. Your dorm, all right. Wu, mm. Gasu? Uh, Gasu's going to follow Eden to the common room. Okay. I'm just going to go around until I figure out where Sponge's room is. I'll go by door by door. Okay, so the three of you start going towards the dorms, and then Gasu and Eden, as you turn to head towards the common area, you see two, two people, you, you've never seen them before, but they're wearing simple gray uniforms, and they're standing and say, you are not allowed to pass through here. Why not? You must head to your rooms, it is curfew. We just got out of a meeting with Mr. Scopio, and he said that the curfew really didn't apply because we were the ones that found the body, and we just came to... Scopio just sent us a message around. saying that if any of you wish to investigate, you must head immediately to our rooms as curfew is now here. So I believe you are lying to me, regular. <laughs> I think everyone on this floor is lying. So. Alright. Head to your rooms now, nice. you will lose points. Oh, yes. Come Those on, Eden. Points. Let's just get out of here. These guys are pretty adamant. Yeah, we'll let them cover up the rest of it. Let's go. Okay. So you head back to your rooms? Eden Gossu? Uh, yes. Yes, begrudgingly. Sure, sure. <laughs> okay, and then, Wu, how are you finding out this information? Um, I just am going to go door by door. And I'll roll, um, hmm, let's, let's go with persuasion. I'll roll persuasion and just ask everybody. We don't have to do it one by one. I'll just ask each person if they know where Sponge's room is until I figure out which one it is. I'm going to say you don't even need to roll because as you knock on the oh. doors, just no one is answering at all. And you get the impression it's because it's past curfew. Hmm. All right, I guess I'll leave it. There's nobody else to ask right now. As everyone heads back, assumedly, to their rooms, you think back on the day and everything that had happened. And despite everything that had happened with Fluxfalk and Sponge and Scopio, you did take class today. So everyone who attended, which is all of you, you gain 50 points for attending class, Plus an additional 15 points for performing well in your minor activities today, which was all five of you. So 65 points can be added to all of you. Got it. Also, Brack, you gain one maximum TP. Eden, Hello. you gain one maximum TP. Damien, you gain one maximum SP. Wu, you gain one maximum TP. Gaosu, you gain one maximum SP. Hold up, is this on top of the one that we got towards the end of last stream? Mm -hmm. Over the tabletop? Oh, yep. Okay. That was right. Class! Woo! 
That might be that. After uh, you are Morgana, bro. You need to not do this to us next time. <laughs> all right. You all head to sleep after having whatever conversations in your own personal rooms. And in the morning, when normally you would be awoken because class is coming up and it's breakfast time, you all receive a message on your pockets that briefly explain that a regular was killed. Everyone, please come to the cafeteria. I get up, I look at Victor, and I make my way towards the cafeteria. Hey, Brack. Hey. Oh. oh. What did yeah. you... Never mind. We'll, we'll talk later. We'll talk later. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. And I'll walk out. Okay. <laughs> Everyone else? Y'all still gonna just head there? Good morning, Eden. Yeah. Okay. Good what morning, are Damien. we... How are we gonna proceed with our investigation at the start? I... I don't like the way this is shaping up, and I have a really bad feeling about all of this is what, all of what's going on here. Scopio is being strangely evasive when it comes to questions. He didn't want to answer questions, yet this is the whole point of an investigation, is to ask questions and ascertain the truth. And he didn't seem to be very interested in that. He's worried about keeping the secrets of the floor. Like, who cares? Like, someone was murdered. But... That's what tests are for, for murdering. So they were, I guess, maybe he doesn't really have a heart in there. I think that Scopio is, in a way, looking out for us in some way or form. I don't think he wants anything bad to happen to us, but... Why us, then? That... Why not everyone on this floor? That is what I don't know. I don't so like I this weird... Think... Oh, go ahead. Oh, well, I was just going to say, after class... I think I'm going to take our new friend Fluxvolk over to the crime scene. Okay. And maybe they can find out something. I mean, I mean if we if... can get in there. I imagine the common area would have to be open by now. Potentially. I I might be closed off. I don't know. It wouldn't be much of an investigation if we couldn't see the crime scene. Well, it's a, it's a lot easier when you've had, like, 12 hours to, you know, tamper with the crime scene. I don't... To be perfectly honest, Damien, I know Sponge meant something to Wu, and I don't quite know the level of that right now, but... I kind of want to just get off this floor and get out of here. That's... If they're going to keep secrets from us, there's no way we're ever going to come to a conclusion. And I would rather just get away from all these prying eyes right now. I don't, I don't like all of this unwarranted attention. It's. I feel like secrets are a natural thing in the tower. Yes. Everybody has their secrets. They do. Gasu and Brack and Wu, even you. There's so many things I don't know. And I would like to get off this floor as soon as possible. I'm just saying I don't know if we should be complying with Scopio's wishes. Well, all we can do is really observe. I think all he really wants us to do is to just see how our teachers react in class. As long as we do the bare minimum, I can't see him complaining. Are you all in the cafeteria now, or are you walking? Oh, yeah. We're walking yeah. and talking. <laughs> walking and talking? All right. I'm going to say the by now, everyone... Stayed. You, you're approaching the cafeteria and you see every regular, most regulars, you know, a couple behind you, they're all filing in and they're all gathered around. They're all like whispering to each other and in heated discussion. And suddenly you see um, Shion and she notices you all and runs over to you. What happened? Are you all okay? Yeah, we're yeah. perfectly fine. How about you? She looks at each of you as if like counting. All this group has been doing is trying to figure out who was killed. Oh. Um, uh, do you know? We'll, 
Yes, it was Sponge. Sponge. That kid with the bubbles. The wave controller. Yeah, the kid with the bubbles. I believe that's what this assembly is going to be all about, so... I was scared it, would, it was Stexa. She's not here, but... Stexa discovered the body last night. She... Wait a minute. They're not holding her, are they? Is Leaf here? Holding her? Yeah, and you see Leaf is by herself, kind of up ahead. Leaf. You would be a crucial witness, Stexa. Uh, did Stexa come back to the room last night? Yeah, and... I went to come here, and... She didn't say anything this morning. She just stayed in bed. So she's there now? I think so. And she answers, huh. thank God. I'll go collect her. Um, Damien, do you want to come with me? Um, I don't really know Stexa that well. But I know my best buddy Brack here was on the same team as her. That's I'll also go with, uh, my You can come with me? Yeah, I'll go All with right. you. It, it, she might be in shock because of the yeah, state that the body was in. That's what I was thinking. Um, you might right, have we'll... just a few minutes. Um, it's almost... We'll run. Okay. We'll run. Good luck. Brack, come on. I, I grab Brack's big hand and I just <laughs> take off with him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to room eight. <laughs> sure, sure. Really quick, I'll just spend a couple more minutes with Gasu, Wu, Damien, yeah. who remained behind. And Shion says, so... And she looks over at Leaf as if not to really scare her. Did you see anything? No. We didn't really see anything. We only saw the aftermath. It was, well, well, I'll spare you the details. Okay. How could the Rankers have let this happen? Well, about that, uh, Shion, how much do you really want to know right now? We can talk more later. And she looks over at Leaf. I just, I hate secrets. I hate not knowing what's going on, and so if you do know something, yes, I would like to know. All right. And no, you will. We'll tell you later. I'm definitely going to get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Sounds good. All right, we'll cut to Eden and Brack as they make their way towards Stex's room. Do you know the room number, either of you? Eight. That's, off. That's the first time. You guys, you're on the ball, Eden. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I wrote them all down. <laughs> okay, excellent. Wait, you knew which room Spudge was in? No, I just know the uh, people that we know. Uh, uh, <laughs> just the ones that matter. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. All right. Uh, no, thing. that's not true. I, I just, we I were never it. informed. Mm. We were never informed. I wrote down the ones no, that we No, yeah, we never were told. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So you make your way to room eight. You don't pass anyone else because you, you get the impression that most of the regulars are now in the cafeteria. And you're standing in front of the closed door. I knock on it quickly. No response. Stexa? It's oh. Eden and Brack. Are you okay? Stexa, please let us in. Eden, you're mm. being too delicate. Oh. <laughs> oh. Open the door! <laughs> God, I'm trying to keep a straight face. <laughs> oh, man. Stexa! Oh, fuck. It's me! <laughs> finally, finally, the door slightly creaks open, and you just hear, what is it? Stexa, we just wanted to make sure you're okay. Everyone's in the cafeteria, and I think we should all be there. I'm not feeling well. And she tries to shut the door. I stick my arm through to try and stop it. Uh, roll acrobatics. Acrobatics? Can you get your arm in that door? Find out <laughs> next right. episode. Oh, no! This is the cliffhanger! <laughs> 
acrobatic. Uh, chopped off oh. the door. <laughs> lose your arm. Don't lose your arm. Oh, just, just, a, just ten. Okay. Ten. That's how be in D and D, bro? You know, I should probably have my like that one. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Make decisions wisely. <laughs> uh, you didn't do it in time, and she shuts Dang the door. Stexa, Stexa, if you we don't should... open the door, I'm gonna call you Bug again. You just did. I, no, I didn't. I was telling her that I was going to call her Bug. Not, uh, I didn't you... call her a Bug. Oh, okay, okay. You just hear her say, "Go away!" through the door. Very, you, the doors are very soundproof, so you, you hear it very quietly. Oh, okay. Stexa, we shouldn't be alone. That's what got Sponge into the situation. We need to keep an eye on each other. And you being alone and everyone else is in the cafeteria, it makes me nervous. Can you and Brack roll persuasion? Yeah. Right. No, 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 no. Where's my real dice? Good call. There you go. There you Good go. call. There you go. That was close. We almost blew the session right there. Wait, is this a... Shit, don't even matter. Oh. <laughs> I got a nine. Can I can I send Dex a message on the pocket to persuade yeah. her? Yeah, you can private message me if you want to. Or Set you can just persuade him. No, no, no. It, it doesn't have to be private. Roll to six. Right, right, okay. I'm gonna roll persuasion first, though. Okay. Sure, sure, go for it. What is my? Wait, so Eden, you got ten? You said. I got a nine. A I got nine. a fifteen. Fifteen from Wu. Brack, would you? Six. Six. And what did you send, Wu? Um, I sent her. I just want to send her a message, being like, uh, what? she needs to come to class or she's gonna lose points, and we all need to be together right now. At least, very worried about her. Yeah. A minute passes by and nothing from the room. Rack, what do you think we should do? I don't think we should leave her. Otherwise, she will fail. That and I don't think they should be alone. I, I, I mean, if the, if the test administrators can't even keep us safe, then, you know, at least... By pairing up, we'll at least have some sort of system. And then you hear the door slightly creak open. And it opens up more, and you can see her, like, with a blanket kind of huddled around her. I go in and give her a hug. And just kind of hold her. She just stands there, and you can hear her crying. I'm so sorry, Stexa. That's... I, I, I could have done something if I was just no. there. No, there's nothing you could have done. None of us can go up against a ranker if that's truly who did this. And honestly, you're... I'm, I'm glad you weren't hurt. He just... He, he looked so scared and there was just blood everywhere. I know. I know. Stacks Unfortunately, oh. we can't change what happened, but we can try and make things better going forward and, you know, try and keep each other safe. I mean, if, I mean, any of the rankers, if they wanted to, could just wipe us completely off this floor if they wanted, but if it's just one rogue one and then we have the backing of the other administrators, then maybe... We can figure out who did this and hopefully extract justice. I want to help. I know. Okay. I'm sick of doing nothing. I know that feeling. So let's let's go to the cafeteria right now, and did did Brack want to say something? He he did, but his 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 mouthpiece seems to have misinterpreted what was said so brock will stay there because you don't really understand the situation fully okay or why she's crying yeah okay okay 
Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and let's get to the cafeteria. Let's figure out whatever the administrators are going to tell us. And then we'll figure out a way to pair up and make sure that we're all safe at the end of this. You see her wiping away her tears coming from all six of her eyes. Okay. Oh. All right. I just okay. kind of keep an arm around her and I kind of kind of hold on to her and escort her out. All right. So while she's being escorted out, Brack looks at her. He raises an eyebrow. And he asked, asked Stexa, Stexa, you said something that was kind of curious. You said he was there with a scared look on his face. Did you see who did this? No, I I, I probably would have been killed too if I did, but I, I wish I did. I, I was just looking for you guys, and that's so why when I went into the common room, he just... Uh scared and you saw the body okay i'm sorry that you had to see that stexa um it's not your fault I'm not that good with these types of things but cheer up it could have been you uh, yeah we're we're, we're <laughs> very glad it wasn't you despite he is like, she oh no! She 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 understands Brax, you know, trying to help. sentiment. Yeah. <laughs> Can I call them real quick? Sure. Uh, call, uh, call you, start receiving, you start receiving a call, uh, Boulder. I mean, Boulder. Uh, oh Brack no! <laughs> That's a bring of another dead person. Uh, Brack <laughs> <and Eden. laughs> oh, this is turning into six cents. Oh. <laughs> Wu is calling. Okay. Um, I'll I'll pick up. Yeah, Wu, what's going on? Uh, guys, you you know you realize you're late, right? Scopio is giving me a really dirty look right now. It'd be best if you just kind of hurried over, grab Stexo. Let's go. We're gonna be right there, and he can get over himself. Uh, Okay. Bye. Bye. Stexo, I have one question before we get to the cafeteria. Okay. Yeah. When you said you were looking for us last night, did you encounter anyone else in the hallways, anywhere on your way to the common room, or beforehand? Uh, not that I can remember. No. Okay. All right. I. That's it. And so we'll enter the cafeteria. All right. Yeah. And you get there just in time as Ari Regulus is he steps out of the training hall and in front of the group of regulars in the cafeteria and he takes a second and looks over at all the regulars and suddenly all the talking quiets down as everyone eagerly waits for what he's going to say last night one of you was killed This happened on our floor. And you can tell he's very, very serious. I understand you must be scared. And I understand you have questions. The regular who was killed was you, Sponge. Talented boy. And if you do not know, it is against the rules for anyone to murder a regular. However, The reason we are so up in arms about this is because we know it was not you who committed this murder. Otherwise, you would simply lose your privileges as an F-rank regular. I ask that all of you remain out of trouble and leave the investigation to us. We will be even stricter with making sure that nothing happens to any of you here on this floor that should not happen during one of the tests or among yourselves, specifically. And he looks down. Morning class has been canceled, and instead we will hold a small funeral for Sponge. If you wish to attend, it is at 11 a.m. Meet us in the meeting room, and he points behind him. If you have questions, please talk to one of the testing administrators. 
Uh, Regulus, that's not gonna fly. And he looks at you very seriously. Uh, oh, me? Oh, but I was just gonna say, uh, we gotta yeah, talk more depth you. about this. Guys, you get making me nervous. I'm talking to the big man over here. So, uh, I'm gonna need to talk to you before we have his funeral for Sponge, if you don't mind. He looks over at Scopio. Of course. This is a very special circumstance, and so... If anyone wishes to talk to me, I will talk to them. You are dismissed, and remember, the funeral is optional. And the regulars start talking amongst themselves and begin to leave the cafeteria. You even hear some regulars say, no class, yes! I pull out my staff and I stomp it into the ground. How dare you disrespect Sponge like that? It could have been any one of you. Worthless. They just kind of look at you and continue to walk. And at this point, it's the five of you, Shion, Stexa, Victor, and Leaf. The squad. The squad. Yeah. You wish to say something? Ooh. Oh, we're, we all went to Regulus? Wait, well, he just st- he just remained, and everyone else kind of started disappearing. Oh, so, oh, oh, yeah. oh. I thought we were going to like go to his office or something, my bad. Um, uh, Stexic, do you mind taking leave and uh, just hanging out back in the training room for a bit? Uh, yeah. Sure. Shion, can you watch over them for me? And she, she, you can tell she looks a little bit annoyed. Cause she, I'll you know, go with, you, I'll go with them too. No, it, are you sure, Damien? Of course. I'll, I'll fill you in. You guys. Yeah. Yes, please. Roger. Thank you. And Leaf just kind of looks around, but I want to stay too. Leaf, it'll be okay. I'll tell you about it later. Right I now, know, says Regulus. She is a regular on this floor. Just go ahead, Leaf. We'll talk later. It'll be okay. Okay. And she just kind of looks at the tension in the room and walks off with uh, Damien and Stex. Wait, so who's, like, here in the All cafeteria us. right now? It's the, the four of you aside from Damien, Shion, and Victor. Oh, so There Victor's are not a couple here. others in the corner just kind of talking, but, like, talking to Regulus. Wait, who's not here? Oh, okay. Victor? He is here. No, Victor, yeah. He's here. He's oh, he is here. Okay. Yeah. okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, Regulus, uh, Mr. Regulus, my bad about that outburst. Earlier, I assume Scopio told you that he spoke with us last night? He most certainly did, and I have no complaints. I want to find out who did this just as much as you all. But remember, I agree with what Scopio said, in which case you should not be investigating this. Simply keeping your eyes peeled and reporting to us if you find anything out of the ordinary. And Scopio's just nodding behind him. Uh, okay. And then when we do so, because you see, you see, I have a little bit of a problem with this uh, close relationship you have with Scopio. Not that I suspect you, Mama Scopio. I know you didn't do this. How's the magazine, by the way? Scopio just stares at you, shooting darts. But he brought up a good point. I don't want to report to him. If we're supposed to be unbiased in our observations, then we should all report to you directly. I completely agree. I'll be in my office and make a special case, because normally I don't accept visitors unless something happened. I'll make a special case for the five of you only. Oh, okay. That's pretty much it. You guys got any questions for him? No. I have one for for Goldilocks here. Uh, <laughs> question: Why, if if the lighthouses have been tampered with, have you guys found Charity yet? The happy one is is a bit suspicious. She Scopio, left her post. Scopio voice, Mister Brack. We are not here to talk about this right now. Ah, teacher, we're not in class right now. Mr. Bronson, Mr. Bronson, 
I will deduct points if you do not quiet down now. If you deduct those points, I better be getting strawberry drink. Wait. Oh, shit. Rack, here you go. I forgot to give you your morning strawberry drink. Nah, 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 nah. Not from you, from him. Well, if you don't want it, I'll drink it myself right now. Rack, the longer we talk, the more I want to eradicate every strawberry water that exists on this floor. You wouldn't oh. dare. <laughs> don't test him, man. Oh, I would. He can do Rack, it. I would. You win. You win. You win. <laughs> and Brack just shuts up and just as the arms folded. Well, you didn't. You don't have anything to ask. Well, considering we're not supposed to be assisting in the investigation other than observing our teachers, I don't really have anything to ask because they're not going to give me any answers. Well, you got and she's she's shooting off. daggers right back at Scopio and Regulus. Her arms are crossed and she is yeah. pissed. <laughs> you guys sure managed to piss her off. Well, uh, one last thing. We're having the funeral for my boy Sponge at 11, right? Do you mind if I swing by his room and pick up a few things to commemorate him with? Joe, you're muted. Oh, no. Oh, no. Or you're, I, we can't hear you. He's not muted, but we can't. Uh, one second, one second stream. Technical difficulties are manifesting. Do, do, do. I, can do, do. I can sound do, do. like an AI for you for right now. Hopefully this is entertaining. <laughs> Siri, is testing, that you? Testing. There Wait, you are. There you My apologies. Welcome back, sir. Welcome we back. found the him. Figure out the problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what was you, you just, oh, about Sponge's room? <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. Scopio says, and you can tell he's like he's annoyed because these are the same questions you asked last night. Like I mentioned, Mister Wu, Sponge's room. I wasn't place. asking you, Scopio. He looks over, Mister Regulus. Regulus. Scopio is uh, correct. Sponge's room is off limits. I'm afraid. Well, why don't you just provide me with some of his things? Because you are not. In charge of this investigation, you are not participating directly. I'm not using it for investigation. There has to be something that he owned that has no bearing on this. I just want to commemorate one of my friends. <laughs> I whispered a woo. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. go ahead. I was going to say, I whispered a woo. Woo. We're just neighborhood watch. Don't test him. He's going to get rid of my strawberry water. Shut up. <laughs> just neighborhood watch. <laughs> <laughs> I turned to him. Brack, I have enough strawberry wire to last you for the rest of this their stay here. I pulled a trick on them last time. Just don't talk about it now. Okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. <laughs> if you did pull a trick, you, you do have to let me know. But, uh, okay, that does interest me. Um, There's but, no way you would have known. I will tell you. That's okay, fine. okay. Uh, so, um, Scopio looks like he's about to say something, but then Regulus kind of stops him and Scopio looks over. And when he looks back at you all, there there seems to be a bit of a softer expression on Regulus's face. Once we finish investigating Sponge's things, I will let you know. Thanks. Mr. Regulus. I do have a question. And I think this would benefit all of the regulars on this floor, considering the recent lapse of your protection. I would like a list of all of the regulars assigned to their rooms and who their partners are. So we can keep tabs on each other. I'm afraid that it goes against our rules. If you wish to find out these rooms, you may speak to the regulars themselves. Why would that be against the rules? Because that is information that is classified for us. Mm -hmm. We're not going mm -hmm. to go to the effort to provide you that list. Oh, of, of, of course. You know, just an investigation into a death. You know, t too much effort, too much to ask. My deepest apologies. And I give, like, the sassiest, like, bow possible. Very over-exaggerated. Very, like, overly ceremonial. And she just, she goes back to crossing her arms and just shooting daggers again. He just smiles. You know, all right, we can, uh... I was planning to ask everybody for their rooms anyway. 
Well, thanks for your time, Mr. Regulus. Of course. And thank you for yes, your questions. Yes, because it is so very precious. Um, mean, meanwhile, my conversation with, like, Shion <laughs> and the leave is like, man, you know, maybe I, I, I sure hope they're not pissing off the breakers. <laughs> 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 it just occurred to me that I, I'm not there to, to hold them back a little bit, but <laughs> to show them some kind of restraint, but I'm sure they'll be fine. I'm sure they're not making Scopio mad. <laughs> Leaf's just kind of like, yeah, right, right. Okay. <laughs> so as you start to turn to leave, all of you, um, Scopio and Regulus kind of talk to each other, you can tell, and Scopio kind of looks over at you all, and you can tell he's not exactly happy with how you were speaking to him. Can I roll perception or investigation, whatever you see fit, to try and overhear what they're saying as we're walking away? Like, kind of train in on what they're All right. saying? sure, sure. Perception. <laughs> perception? Okay. Yep. Oh, no. Oh. Um, that would be 22. What'd you roll? I rolled an 18 and I have a plus four because I'm proficient. You didn't hear anything. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why did you even ask what she rolled? Why? Exactly. Because yeah. you needed a nat yeah, 20. Yeah, I wanted to roll. <laughs> <laughs> one of those 19 or 20. Oh, man. That was such a good roll. That's crazy. I thought you rolled a one. And you were like, oh, no. Right. I did, too. I did, too. I was trying to do math. I was like, uh oh, this is going to be really high. And apparently it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> you're right. I'm not. You're right. <laughs> okay. So at this time, it's maybe 915. Um, what do you all decide to do collectively? The ones in the cafeteria. Uh, I'm going back. I'm going to the training room to meet sure. up with Damien Leaf yeah. and Stexa. Let's, let's let's all go. Man. Yeah. Okay. Damien, you're sitting there talking to Leaf. Um, you know, and Stex is kind of just very quiet, but just next to you, you two, and you see everyone come into the room. And I I give them a friendly little wave. Hey, Damien. Hello well, that there. was completely useless. What do you mean? Uh, they don't answer questions. We're not supposed to get involved in the investigation, yet we're, we're supposed to report on people. Uh, you know, just they are completely tying our hands and they expect results, so, you know. Well, I wouldn't say it was totally useless. We don't have yeah. Scopio over, watching over us anymore. We can go directly to Regulus. There's a lot more we like can Like he's any now. better? Well, uh, I am relieved because I realized me, what I'm at. I realized what a bad idea it was for me to leave you guys alone, but I'm glad that my my fears were unwarranted because there's no way you guys would make the high ranker mad. Uh, oh, they did. <laughs> they deserve it. Like, when you say they, you mean Brack and Eden, right? I thought I was pretty respectful. You just see Damien with his eyes wide open, mouth open. He just sits back. He's like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, they don't deserve our respect if they can't even protect us. Oh, what good are they? Ourselves. I never relied on it in that old man or Mama Scopia to begin with, and I'm yeah, not so, about to start now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, special training my ass. He hasn't called a single one of us. So, I don't have any respect for the guy. <laughs> okay, it's okay. We can work with this. We can work with this. Okay. Okay, so, um... We're obviously going to be investigating this. Um, um, as Leaf, investigating. Uh, oh, that's right. Leaf, we haven't told any of them yet. She yeah, well, we'll yeah, tell everybody because it really answers. doesn't matter. All well, right, Stexa, Leaf, Shion, Leaf, Victor. We were pulled out of that hole fiasco last night by Scopio, and Scopio, although he wants us to help the investigation, doesn't want us to investigate, but we're supposed to observe our teachers and report on, quote, any strange things or occurrences that might happen during class. What that means, I don't know. They canceled class this morning, so how are we going to do that? Um, but yes, we're supposed to inform on our instructors to Mr. Regulus himself. 
And I don't see that's how that's going to help anything because if the murderer really wants to stay, keep their identity hidden, they will just carry on as business, business as usual. So it really doesn't matter what we observe. This whole thing is a farce and I think they're trying to cover up something. And we won't let them get away with it. But... At this point, I really don't care. I know Sponge meant something to you and no, whatever you want promise. to tell me. That's, that's fine. Home. And I'll see it through. And that's very admirable. But I'm not really interested in helping them with their investigation if they're not going to, in kind, turn over any information that we could actually help them with. Well, we don't know, know these teachers. We just met them. We don't have to they... tell them anything. But well, I'd like you to at least look at Nissan during class and let me know if you notice anything. Hey, Victor, I can I see something? I agree. Yes, Victor. He just kind of puts his head in his hands. Why were you all talking like that? To the, talk, you, to the talking ruler like of what? the floor? Are I don't care. Ridiculous? Eden. I don't care. Eden. I'm mm. serious, okay? Victor, relax, man. No, I'm not going to relax. These are rankers. Okay? And? And we've, we've been put into a pretty good position, I would say, from what I've heard. We get to Victor, didn't you? Them. Okay. Didn't you grow gonna, up around we're gonna, rankers? We're gonna throw this opportunity away if we keep treating them like this. What all opportunity? Right? We get to, being snitches. You all are handling this terribly. All right. We can get information out of them without directly asking it. Okay. We don't what have do to say, recommend? "Tell me everything." All right. Enlighten us. Let's not throw away what they've given us already. What have they given us? Given it us seems like lot. you've been very eager to work with Regulus from the start, Victor. But what What does that what mean, do we... Wu? What do you mean I've been eager to work with Regulus? Whoa, 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 so defensive. I just mean that I heard that when you got the private lessons with Regulus, you were pretty happy about yeah, that. Yeah, because it's a ranker. But didn't Someone you been grow to the top up of around... the tower? Oh, let's... Didn't, you, oh, didn't you grow relax. up around rankers, Victor? How about didn't we you just train with calm rankers, Victor? Down. I'm calm. And He's the one that's just... agitated. I want him to answer what's, the question. What's done is done, and what we do next is what's Answer gonna be the question, Victor. I don't have to answer any of your questions, Wu. Just take my advice or leave it. I don't care at this point. You're not including half of us in these plans anyway. He looks over at Shion. I what? agree with Victor. Are we in this or not? Half the time I feel like you're telling us everything and half the times we're just being left out of it what what do you feel like you're being left out of oh i don't know being used as a bodyguard let's say against my consent not telling me why stexa is upset not telling me what's going on okay all right stexa found the body last night we found right. stexa we had to deal with that what else do you need to know we're trying to protect everybody where were you last night we were meeting with Fluxfolk because Fluxfolk sent us a cryptic note that we all had to be there and we had to go meet with the creepy scythe girl. Well, how hard was that, huh? I pull I pull out the note. You're dead, Max. I let them Nexus. know. It was it was an all or nothing deal. And we couldn't bring anyone else, and we were told to come just us. I hope that helps understand our position. Look. I wanted to know where my father was, and I just, I needed answers, and we didn't get those answers, and now we're roped up in this. <sighs> Shion kind of sighs. Well, I'm sorry about your dad. It's okay. It's okay. Right now, though, I want to help with this investigation. Not for them, but just because it feels like the right thing. Are we going to be included, too? Shion <laughs> says. Absolutely, of course. We just, we just told you. What you choose to do is up to you. Let's all calm down. Yeah, Victor, Victor says- I didn't mean- What? I didn't mean to antagonize you. Aiden, this is not- This I isn't what, we're all Victor? Frustrated. I understand we're all frustrated, okay? But this isn't going to be solved by us arguing. I just want- This isn't going to be, be solved by us. anyone, including us. Well, you've given up, huh? Isn't like I didn't you, expect Eden. that from you, Eden. Oh, okay. All right. Y'all have a lovely day. I'm going back to my room. I leave. 
Eden, you said yourself that we shouldn't be alone. Oh, but see, <laughs> I've given up apparently, so it really doesn't matter. And I exit. Before before Eden exits, I say Eden, the next person this happens to could be Stexa. Rack is right. Stexa is a witness. Maybe she saw something. She told me she didn't. Oh, shit. Stexa's what? still here, right? Yeah. yeah, she is there. Oh, God. She's just staring straight ahead. <laughs> but, Eden, that's not the point. The point is that there's still someone out there that is hunting us. Or, in lieu of hunting us. We should... We should try to protect ourselves, no? Brack, tell me, how are we going to protect ourselves against a ranker who wants to kill us? And we have administrators who can't even protect us. We have administrators that are- What exactly are we gonna do? We have administrators that are incompetent at their job, but the very least that we can do is try to find information as to the person that is committing these acts. Exactly. Now we, we can't do anything against the person. But shit, me? <laughs> I can just vanish away. <laughs> I'm safe. <laughs> oh, good for you, Brack. Very good for you. Brack, you kind of face so face. close. <laughs> yeah. Look, I, um... everybody can do whatever they want to do. But right now, I'd like if we all just at least went to Sponge's funeral. Is that okay? I'll yeah. definitely be there. I agree. For now, all I can say is we can't we should watch our teachers when we go to class tomorrow we got class this afternoon oh right uh whoops forgot about yeah, that we do agreed well how about we all just chill let's go to our rooms do whatever until 11 says victor all right sounds good and i'm sorry we haven't been straightforward with what we've been doing no, I. Sorry for being frustrated. I just. It's kind of a big deal, you know? Just want to make sure we're handling it's, it right. It just kind of feels like, I don't know, other outside forces are just kind of grouping us together, you know? You mean you five? Yeah. Yeah. Trust me, we've noticed. We don't know either. Yo, uh, Victor. Mr. Wu? Did you know, Sponge? I mean, not really. Why do you ask? Oh, I just was surprised by... It, it seemed like you knew him. I'd only talked to him once or twice. We met last night, and I made a promise to him. Just like I made a promise to you. I don't break my promises. He liked... Brooke. <laughs> just like me. We all like Brooklyn. I mean, <clears throat> um, <laughs> yeah, he was a big fan. It's funny, though, because he didn't like strawberry water. <laughs> Wait, what? How'd you know that? Well, we're in the same class. I, I spoke to him once or twice. Uh, Leaf, I'm going to need you to tell me everything you know about Sponge after oh, this. Oh, uh... And she kind of, am I, I don't know anything about what happened. No, no, no. Why oh. would you ever think that I would suspect you about that? Leaf, we've talked about this. You don't have to be so on edge around me. No, just, I, I know. I, I want to know what you do know. That's I it. didn't even know he didn't like strawberry water. I just oh. know he likes bubbles and he said he felt a lot of pressure from his family and, and that he didn't like strawberry water, even though he liked Brooke. All right, thanks. Yeah. And Stexa just says, can we all just go back to bed? Or can I just go back to bed? Yes. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, I'll... but make sure to go to class, though. I'll go to class. I'll go to the funeral, too. I, I hadn't planned on it, but I should be there. Brack, you're still coming, right? I know he didn't like strawberry water, but you're still a nice guy. Um, I'm coming. 
an atrocity was committed the day he was killed. He never learned about the sweet nectar of strawberry water. That is an atrocity. I'm gonna. I want. I want to let everyone know what my intentions are after the funeral. So, I'm planning to enlist the help of Fluxfolk to investigate. I disagree. I think that they may be important to the investigation. If they had anything to do with it, it would be better to keep them close than far. And I think that they've offered us cooperation, and I don't see a reason to not take hey, it. Man, are you only doing this because you want more information that you think Fluxville can provide? Or are you doing this because you think she'd genuinely be a help? I do think that they will help with this investigation. They don't know anything about my father. So. You know how I feel about is, them, right? I know. But I don't I want don't... any part of this, but you do whatever you want. I trust you. Yeah, I'll stay safe. And at least I get the vibe that they're not going to kill someone who is their favorite or one of their favorites. Don't let they what they say get into your head. Of course. I wouldn't believe that if I was you, Damien. I, you didn't let her touch you, did you? Uh, no, not that I know of. Don't let her touch you. All right, I'll keep that in mind, Brack. And I know that it is. Uh, if anyone wants to join me, I know Flux Folk doesn't make many people comfortable. In fact, quite the opposite. But because this is open. If any of you want to join me, you can join me. Nobody else is going. Let me know and I'll come. I don't like it, but I'm not leaving you alone. With them. I'll go with you, Damien. Victor kind of, yes, you know sort what? Of raises his hand. I'll go to, you don't have to ask. I'll just come. It's fine. That's good. Cause I extended the offer to everyone here. Okay. So me, you, Gasu, Wu? or Wu, are you coming? I'll let you guys know. With you two with him, I, I don't know if it's a problem. Right. I think maybe, yeah. Should, should we work. go now? Um. Well, we should go to the funeral first. We still and then I was thinking of going out. Oh! All right. Well, I'll ask Flux Volk if they're free. Right now and after class. Wait, do you have Flux Volk on speed dial? Uh, they, well, no. Did you get her number? Yes. Please tell me you got it before we met with her. Crazy. Dang it. Anyway, are we going to go now? <laughs> they, they, they texted me an anonymous, <laughs> like a message saying, the five of you are nothing. <laughs> and everyone's <laughs> like, that is Damn, true. Damien. That is true. Let's well, go right now. Okay. Hey, we'll, guys, we'll be back in a bit. All right. Leave, make sure you stay with Stexa. I will. I'll take care of her. I'm going to go check on Eden, guys. You guys can go. Brack, what about you? I look at Wu. I'm like, he's like, you told me to funeral, but okay. Uh, wait, what? Uh, Sponge's funeral. We got an hour, bro. Oh, an hour until it starts. Oh, okay. I get some, get some breakfast, man. Yeah, Brack, Brack eating. Breakfast Brack is eating. being served. Yeah, sounds good. We forgot good. breakfast again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna say that we're gonna cut to Victor, Gasu, and Damien, uh, who are approaching Flux Falk's room at this point. I'll leave this so, in your hands. I, I before I knock on the door, I turn around and I say. Listen, okay? Let's not be antagonistic. Let's try and come to some sort of agreement. Victor, you haven't really encountered Fluxfolk besides the crown game, but they what? are... They don't act like a normal person, per se. Um, they're very open about certain things, so if you have any sort of secret, uh, they, it might be revealed. Um, you might hear certain things about me and Gasu. That maybe you haven't heard about, but okay. don't. 
But do not. Yeah. Do not be surprised because it will be unrelated. What we we have to come okay. to some sort of deal. Right. Got it. And they're gonna they 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 don't act like a human, like like how me and you would have a conversation. And they're quite vague just and very. Do, it's okay. Oh Damien. my God, we'll, Damien, we'll just, just open the door. Yeah, come on, let's just go in. I get the idea. And before you even knock, the door slightly opens. Hello. Hello. You hear hello hand from inside. inside. So, uh, what's you up to today? And it's very dark inside the room. You just hear a voice say, "Come in." So, uh, how's it going? So, do all three of you enter? Yes. So, Victor's the one behind the other two of you, and as he tries to walk in, suddenly Flux Falk steps from behind the door and blocks the way, and she says, oh. what are you doing with my friends? Yeah, he's, he's, he's a friend, too. You see, you're allowed to have multiple friends. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? She's just looking at him. He's like, whoa, hey, nice to meet you. This is my friend, uh, Mr. Coon Victor. <laughs> you may have heard of Coon, one of the ten great families. Damien, shut up for a second. What? what? Flux folk, what's wrong with Victor? She looks back at you all. Isn't it obvious? He's not one of the five of you. Even the fact that he saw my face is disgusting. Okay. And she's looking at it with like a lot of contempt. Uh, hey, so, um, I'll just go. You know, uh, and she, something about the way she's acting towards him, he, he looks pretty like, whoa. Are you saying you don't want Victor here, Flux Volk? And she looks back at you. Of course. But I Victor is one of my Victor friends, too. though. Would you be willing to let Victor sit in on our conversation? She looks back at Victor. If you do anything to upset me or my friends, and her eyes flash red, you will regret it. Uh, I look right. at Vic I look at Victor, giving him this look that, like, I told you so. I tried to warn you. Yeah, okay. Got it. <clears throat> Let's go. He just kind of slides into the room. <laughs> so, I'm not sure if you are aware if this information is already known to you, but a regular on this floor has died. I know. And we have been tasked with observing certain rankers. And I believe that you would be an asset to helping us with our investigation. Flux Volk, we want you to help us because these rankers are useless. That's what he's getting at. <laughs> it's the second floor. Of course they're useless. And she kind of walks up and kind of looks you up and down. Damien, you need my help? Really? Yeah, I do. We do. Isn't that right, Gasu? And Gasu sort of looks away. Gasu, yeah. we, need, we, we need their help. Yeah, definitely. She kind of walks and then puts her hand on your shoulder, Damien. Anything for you. Did something happen when she touched me? Because Brack said not to let her touch me. No, you don't feel anything. Okay. Well, let's get investigating. First of all, this might be a weird question to ask, but you had nothing to do with the murder, right? I'm your friend, of course. How dare you accuse me of that? I would never. It was not a. It was, it was not an accusation. Why would I would Volk. this person matter to me? Hmm? Flux Folk, how much do you know about the Rankers and Regulus? The 
rankers. I know some things. Unfortunately, some of it's classified information. You can tell she's a little frustrated. Oh. But I do know how long, or relative to the others, how long each has been on this floor. For example, I know start. that the newest testing administrator is Brooke. Aside from her, really? Charity and H1 have been here for a little while. And she's kind of just walking around the room doing weird gestures. And then Nissan and Scopio, aside from the ruler, have been here the longest. Hmm. So Nissan and Scopio have been here the longest outside of Regulus. Was that good? Interesting. Was that helpful? Do you know if there have maybe been bit. other have been past incidents similar to this? I wouldn't know. This is my first time on this floor. That sort of thing just gets swept under the rug most of the time. You know how rankers and test administrators are. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. So if we brought you over to the crime scene, do you think there's anything you could glean from it? I actually already know a few things, but I was hoping to talk to all five of you. Five of you, and she looks at Victor. Well, I don't really know if that's going to be possible. I don't know how to say this, but um, you kind of scare the crap out of some of them. The situation with our group is complicated right now. So it may take a while for the five of us to actually uh, group up. Hmm. You're arguing? I thought friends were supposed to be helping one another during times like this. Jesus Christ. First off, Luxvolk, we're not friends. And second, we're always kind of arguing. <laughs> you know, friends, friends like to make jokes like that, you know? Like, hmm. you know, oh man, you're not my friend and stuff, you know? We're totally friends. It's just a joke. Don't worry we're about totally, it. We're totally, definitely not. Look, Fluxvolk. Someone's been killed, and this person isn't particularly close to any of us, which clearly means that they were killed to send a message. And I think that message is that nobody here is safe. The next person that gets killed could be another regular, hmm. including one of the five of us. So do you want to help us or not? I do want to help you all. I'll do the very best I can. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. I don't care what it is. Well, we can start with details about the crime scene. Anything you could tell us. But I'm not going to help you unless all five of you are working together again. It is. It must and be all no, five of you. And no one else. We can't have Victor here or... Mm. No. Let me guess, this has to do with your boss, right? Well, I hate that word. It has to do with the people who sent me here. Well, I guess I don't see any other way to proceed besides getting everyone back together. Jeez, it's going to be a mission in and of itself. Well, I will give you the task of recruiting Wu and Brack. I'll try and see if I can get Eden on board. I already went over there. Right, right. Well, we'll yeah, Wu's already over there with Eden. Okay. It will have to be after the funeral. So, you know, Fluxfall kind of sits down, sits back under her bed. Once all five of you are on speaking terms again, then we can talk. Then I'll come to you. I'll help you. I promise. You better. Wait, hold up. Above the tail, did you say under her bed? On her bed. Sorry. Oh. On her bed. Yeah. <laughs> she like <laughs> slithers under her bed. <laughs> Slip of the tongue. <laughs> I, should, I, that's a better, I should have said that. Yeah, that's a I just Folk look around. Folks in the air. I look around nervously. It's a promise. Well, I guess we can get out of here. Damien and Gasu turns to exit the room. I, uh, I, 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 we exit the room and I tell Victor, this is yeah. kind of what we've been dealing with. Yeah, you shut we the really door. Would've... We really want to include you guys, but we're 
<sighs> stuck under these rules. Right. Okay. Um, man, sorry for what I said like, before. This is a creepy situation. Uh, I wouldn't talk to her like anymore at all. She's bad. I don't know if you all can tell this, but she's bad news. Just, just throwing that out there. She's bad news. But she's Both. also probably one of the most honest people on this floor. Is I she? mean, totally bad news. How do we know that? But well, I think if Flux Folk did want to kill us, we'd be dead already. Okay. I believe that too. Okay, we're I gonna cut Gosh to we're gonna cut to Wu. And, uh, well, Brack's eating. So we're going to cut to Wu. Wu, you are making your way towards Eden's room. Uh, you barely encounter anyone. Cobra slithers by. You know, you see Bill A. Bartimus talking with Bell from the Crown game. That's about it. And you make your way to Eden's room. Okay. I'm going to just knock. Eden, you in there? What do you want? Can we just talk? For a quick second, I know you want to be alone, but you're not acting like yourself. She opens the door and you can come in. Oh, I can tell this is Damien's side of the room. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a uh, frogatized. Yeah, where does he get all of this stuff? I, I, that's a, a mystery. <laughs> well, anyway, why are you so upset? It's not like you. I would have thought you want, would want to help with this investigation. I would have loved to have helped with the investigation, but we we're cut off at the knees, so what's the point? Why do you think we need them to figure our stuff out for ourselves? Well, considering they hold literally all of the cards, um, there's not much we can do. So we steal some from their hand. It's simple. We can't um, let them have all the power. It's uh, it's uh, it's not that simple. Um, I know Victor was like, "Oh yeah, well, it's a great opportunity." Blah blah blah. Who cares? I, it. They're not going to tell us anything, and they're. I genuinely don't think they want to know the answer. You're probably right. Makes them look bad. A regular died on their floor, after all. Yeah. So, you know, it's only going to cause more problems for them, so... But you got to think about it this way. Why would Scopio even ask us in the first place? Because they need fall people. That's how rankers us. work. They protect themselves. Them. And that's it. Where is they have their control? little allegiances, and they protect themselves... And they make other people pay for their sins. Uh, Eden, you know I know what projecting sounds like, and I don't even think this has anything to do with Scopio himself anymore. What? Where is this coming from? Nowhere you need to know. Also, bit of information, we have no access to the teachers right now. They're all under guard, so... We got class with them this afternoon, which is why I wanted you to just look after Nissan. I particularly need you to look after Nissan. Victor's there. He'll help. Victor's not as perceptive as you. Yes, but this is Victor's big opportunity, so he'll be just fine. For me, can you just... Just be yourself and let me know if you notice anything weird. Is that fair? I'm not going to tell Regulus. I have no intention of telling them anything. I need to know for me. Of course I'm going to tell you guys if I notice anything, but like I said, in, in, in Scopio's very warped way on how you do investigations, which isn't how you do an investigation, um, he is... Look, if a killer or a murderer is going to get away with it as they seem to be attempting thereof us noticing something different about classes when we have no foundational basis of what could be different in their classes could be they're not going to show their hand they're not going to be honest with their students they're dear and lovely they're not going to be honest about it they're going to keep that shit hidden and how are we going to pick up on it i agree we don't I mean even know what would be different 
They might come into class pissed off one day. <sighs> yeah. So? Like, you know, people have bad days. Well, Did they kill somebody? Yeah, maybe. How are we gonna know? <laughs> I've killed before, Eden. There's always a tell. But listen, I agree with you. Scopia doesn't actually want us to investigate. No, which is why none of this makes sense, which is why... And that's what I want to get to the bottom. Why are we so special? I've been asking that since we got here. And you think First they're actually going to tell Scopio, us? First Regulus, Scopio, Fluxvolk. No, they're never going to tell us anything. I'm through then asking why? them questions. Then why are we going to help them? We're not going to help them. We're going to help ourselves to what they know. And the only way to do that is to pretend to help them. I think if we stay as far away from this whole situation as possible, it'll get the target off of our backs. Sponge was not targeted because he knew anything. No, that but we're being targeted. Boy. We're being targeted. I don't like that. Regulus yeah. wants Regulus wants us to report to him. Scopio drug us in right after the Why do why do we stumble on the body? Why you know, we're supposed to have these special training with Regulus. He's never followed through with that. He pulled us out of the crown game to ask us about it. Fluxfalk seems to know a hell of a lot of about us. She also confirmed that by Regulus calling us off the field in the crown game, that confirmed to her that we were the special, unique people she was looking for. I don't like this type of attention. I don't like this type of... We got some mystery organization looking at us now. We got Regulus. We got Scopio. I don't like this. I think this is very dangerous for us, and the more we stick our noses in it, the worse off it's for us it's going to be. I think it's the opposite. I completely understand where you're coming from, and I wish I didn't have to deal with any of this either. Trust me, it's cumbersome. It's hindering my style. And ever since I got here, I thought I was getting away from everything I was trying to get away from, but it seems like I'm just getting into another mess. Look, us avoiding the problem isn't going to magically make the problem go away. We need to find a way to work through it. And we can only do that if we work together. I don't trust anybody else here, but I trust our friends. And I need you to help me. That's all I'm asking. Look, I'm I'm going to help the group. I'm just not going to overtly report to anybody. And we won't. And the higher ups or whatever. But you don't have to. Don't worry about it. I'll deal with that. Part. We we need to get the targets off of our backs if we want to accomplish anything we want to accomplish, because this is. This level of scrutiny is dangerous, even if you're a ranker. This is... You're not... Well, we'll okay. figure it out. It'll Woo. all work itself out. Well, I've got some questions for you, if you don't mind. Sure, I've asked you enough already. Why did you get so upset? How did you know Sponge was a good guy? You just met him that night when we were playing dice. Uh... Can we have the rest of the group mute? Oh yeah, sure. Everyone, Brack, Gasu, Damien, mute. Bye. Oh, oh. What? Uh... <laughs> See ya. <laughs> well, let's just say that I have a way to read people. And I know Sponge had a good heart. I don't really want to talk about it, but. I mean, I'm not going to pry any further than that, but I have it. Feeling it has something to do with the gourd. Am I? The gourd has some special properties. I and there's some special much. items located inside. All right, that's fair enough. That's not going any further than that. If I look, well, you asked, I'll tell you. If somebody takes a sip from the liquid from my gourd, there's a way that my master taught me to gain certain information from them. It's why I actually made a killing gambling back in the middle area. What type of information do you get from them? Just like... Well, I didn't know you were married, so don't worry. Your secrets are safe. All right, fair, well, fair, fair, fair. As I say, I've, I've taken a few swigs out of that, not knowing. Just, one, you know, just covering my bases. Okay, so... I can see the heart of people. That's all. Okay. Fair. And Sponge was a good kid. Look, I'm not mad. I barely knew the guy. We played one game of dice last night. Honestly, okay. if he had died a night ago, I wouldn't have batted an eye. But I made yeah. him a promise. What was the promise? That I would get him a signed autograph from Brooke. We would spend some time with her. We were gonna go today. 
And now he's not here, and I can't fulfill that promise. So, I'm going to fulfill it in his stead. That's why I want one of his items. Uh. My master told me never to break a promise. And I broke a promise once, and it got somebody I cared about killed. I'm not going to let that happen again. This seems eerily similar. And that's why I got so upset last night, and I tried to push you guys away. But then I realized that doesn't make any sense. And actually, like you said, we're in the middle of a very precarious situation. So I should rely on you guys more. I appreciate the honesty and the insight. That's um, it's very honorable of you and whoever your master was. Um, you also said in an outburst that uh, you knew which teacher it was. Did they drink from your gourd? No, they didn't. That's the problem. It could be the little mousy one. She seems a little too cheerful for me. But that's why I want you to keep an eye on your teacher. So he didn't drink from the gourd? No. Oh. And I'm 100% certain it's not H1. You don't have to believe me. Did she drink from the gourd? Who did drink from the gourd? <laughs> just... Let's just say she can't. Um, yeah. Well, then you can't rule her out then, right? No, for that reason, I can't. But... It could be charity. This doesn't have to do with your one-sided crush, does it? I told you I don't have a... <clears throat> no. Does... I, I don't... You know what? I thought we were going to leave this alone. No, I I'm know. asking... I'm asking for investigative purposes. If she didn't drink, then you can't rule her out. I mean, in the same fashion that you can't say that because Nissan didn't drink, H1 he's isn't guilty. H1 was created by the workshop. Well, that kind of makes sense. But As a matter of fact, I'm planning to ask her something after class because she might be the one that's most useful to this investigation. I but mean, you're gonna have to, to me. you're gonna have to try to catch her in class because <laughs> there's no meeting outside of class. I've double checked on that at least right now. Mm -hmm. um, Interesting. All yeah, right, they've I'll got guards. Out. They've got guards posted up everywhere, pretty much. <sighs> I. Well, I just get a weird feeling from Nissan. I need you to just. See what you can see. I'm not ruling Charity or Brooke out either, but I know it's not Scopio. He might be a little unhinged and the way he's acting, you know. So what about Brooke? Out. What about Brooke? <laughs> She's the most enigmatic of them all. I don't want to believe that she would do something like this, but we don't really know much about them. Did she drink from the gourd? Hmm. I don't believe she did. Couldn't get a read on her either. Well, then how can you say that... Yeah. I it's just think, Nissan when none of them, Charity, H1, I Brooke, thought you didn't trust any of them. Don't get defensive over your own sensei. I don't, I don't, I don't care about them. I'm just saying your deductive reasoning for this doesn't work. Hey, 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 I, I have a feeling. Just look oh, after you Nissan. Can't, it's you not, can't I'm not saying, on I'm not saying it's him. I'm telling you who it's not. The only two people I am positive are not behind this are Scopio and H1. Did the rest Scopio, of them are programs. Did Scopio drink from the gourd? Mm, I actually don't remember. <laughs> I actually don't remember. <laughs> I don't Scopio. think he did. I don't think. He did. I don't. I don't think Scopio yeah. would drink from my gourd, dude. I'm pretty. To be uh, fair, I'm pretty sure none of the rankers did. Um, okay. As far as I yeah. remember. Then, then, woo, if 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 none of the teachers drank from your gourd. <laughs> Then how can you rule or age say... One is, age one is ruled out. Just leave that's it That's your that. one-sided crush. I don't trust your judgment on that one. Pardon my skepticism. Okay, I'll do my own research then. It's my class anyway. Okay, Just look that's at fine. Nissan. All right, let's get, let's get the rest. I'm going to say it's like nearing 11 o'clock at this point. Yeah, let's... let's, let's, let's... I'm going to ask everyone to unmute. Okay. Oh, that's hilarious. It always oh, feels no. bad, there, because every time we do a mute session, everyone starts talking in the chat, and I'm like, man. But it's always it's always <laughs> worth it. It's good, great character development. Well, we need something to do, bro. <laughs> so I'm going to say at this point, for both parties, it is nearing 11 o'clock. Um, it is nearing the time to head back. And so can I assume that's what everyone chooses to do? Yes. Yes. Okay. You all meet up in the meeting room, and... As you start to look around and you notice, 
you're surprised about the lack of regulars that are there. Um, you know, the people that you've been with, for the most part, are there. Victor, Shion, Leaf, um, even Lake and Gion, her, her knight. Um, Stexa is there as well. But you notice Cal isn't there. And you notice Boris isn't surprised. there. Um, it's not really that surprise. Yeah, Cal, Boris, <laughs> and obviously Fluxfolk are not there. Um, but aside from that, you see a couple other random regulars, but there's maybe like 10 or 15 regulars total. Not very many. And as it's nearing 11 o'clock, you see at the, the podium, near the podium, on the stage, you see Brooke is there, and she, uh, she's accompanied by Regulus and Scopio. And they're watching everyone come in, and Regulus goes up to the podium, and he says, Behind us is a door that will lead us outside. That is where Sponge's body has been prepared. If you wish to pay your respects, we will have this session open for about 30 minutes. He looks over at Brooke, looks over at Scopio, and back towards you all. <sighs> Follow me. And it's a very hushed tone in the room as Regulus steps down from the stage, followed by Scopio and Brooke. And um, a door that he hadn't noticed was there before, kind of just really, really blended in, more like a part of the wall. It kind of starts opening up. And they walk through it, and you see light coming from outside. And some of the regulars start following, and you all just start filtering through. And... The area that the Hall of Regulus is on, the, the terrain surrounding it, isn't very luscious. It's very mountainy, and, um, you know, it's, it's flat in your area, fairly flat, but you can see mountains in the distance, and it seems like you're, there's a mountain range kind of surrounding you. Um, and there's not that much grass, but in this area in particular, there does seem to be grass sort of in a patch. And there is a glass casket sitting in the middle of the patch. And the, the rankers all step towards the casket and look towards you all and everyone starts filing in uh, let me take a second here okay if you could look at my screen please oh, oh, this man got a whole ass oh. art picture bro I can't oh he looked like wing Nog? Oh, that's crazy. Oh, that's... Oh, damn it, Milios with the comparison, bro. Come on. You notice, you notice his body is fairly... It's unscathed. It's completely different from the previous night, right? Um, no cut marks or anything. Uh, he's been completely cleaned up. He looks like he's asleep. Um, and he's resting beneath the glass, and um, there's flowers there, and... This is very silent outside. You can hear some birds chirping, but that's it. Eden will step forward. kind of looks at him flashing back to the last time she saw him <sighs> I'm sorry sponge you don't deserve to be the pawn in somebody else's twisted schemes seeing you how you are right now it's how you should have been at peace and you weren't afforded that when you should have been under the most of protection and she looks up at the test administrators when she says that. 
whatever's beyond. Here. I hope you find the peace that you deserve. And I hope that we see you again. And she puts a hand on the casket and then turns and leaves. Uh, Leaf walks up and kind of just looks at Sponge and looks down and then turns away. Eden kind of, when Leaf walks away, she kind of like motions for her to come over and kind of wraps her arms around Leaf because she can sure. tell she's upset. And kind of sure. rests her head on her head and just kind of holds her. Okay. Brack steps forward. Brack looks at uh, down at the casket. Gets down on one knee to get closer. He leans in. And he states. You may have you may have left this world sooner than was expected. But now you are drifting in the stream, flowing with the Shinsu evermore. And whoever took you out of this world before you had the opportunity to experience the nectar that is strawberry water. Don't worry. I won't be the one to bring them to justice. But we will find someone who will. He taps the casket twice and then he walks away. I, uh, I, I, I look over to Regulus and I ask him, am I to believe that everybody on the second floor would receive this treatment if they passed away? He's kind of looking at you as if like now is not the time. No, 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 I, I'm, I, I'm asking. You just walked over to him and as, like whispering? As, as, yeah. You just kind of one-on-one? -on -one? Okay, so you, you walk over to the rankers and... What happened to Sponge is a crime because it was committed by one of us. And so, I, we feel responsible. He looks over at Brooke and you can tell that she, she normally is very composed, but her hair is kind of loose and she, she's not winking. She's not, you know, she looks pretty serious and. Is very kind, too kind for the tower. I didn't. F I didn't know Sponge personally, but I will figure this out. Thank you, Damien. And then uh, slowly, Stexa kind of walks forward, and she kind of freezes, but then Shion kind of walks up behind her and helps her forward, and. She kind of just stares down and and then she when she walks away you see her crying again and she owns trying to help her back. Uh, Victor just remains there. So you gonna do anything? Cause I'm gonna go then. Uh, no, Gasu also like remains in the back of the room. He doesn't move. Uh, can I approach the rankers first? Yeah. Uh, bro, you don't look too good. Uh, but you mind doing me a favor? I think Sponge would like it. What is it? You sign this, and I pull out a magazine. To be clear, this is like a different magazine? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I'm from my personal collection. Right, right. Oh, mm -hmm. no. Well. <laughs> <laughs> she looks down at it and she smiles and reaches down and she signs her name. Eat I yourself up so much of this. Sponge really liked you. I'm sure this will mean a lot to him. Alright. I want to go up to Sponge. I didn't know him long. But I can promise you this, Sponge was a good kid. Maybe too good. I don't really know why he was climbing. I don't think he should've. But I can tell you this much. 
Sponge wouldn't want any of us to be sad right now. As a matter of fact, if we were, if we were in Sponge's position, I think he'd be more excited to receive one of these. And I slap out a limited edition. None of that idle stuff. Straight top 10 babes of the tower. <laughs> Signed by Brooke herself. Thank you, Brooke. Sponge, I promise you. you I would get you this. And I wish I could have, could have seen your smile when you took it. But hopefully it makes you feel a li little bit better. I promise I'm going to find out who did this. Whether people want me to or not. And I kind of lean back over and glance over at uh, Brooks Gopio and Regulus. But rest in peace, my boy. And the rest of you, show some goddamn class. He was a good kid. And y'all talking all over his death is disgraceful. And I leave. Okay. The minutes pass and no one steps forward and you get the impression that things are going to get wrapped up here in a moment. And Lake turns to leave and the other regulars can't turn to leave. But then suddenly, Brooke walks forward and you can tell Regulus and Scopia kind of look over at her. Regulars! And they all turn. What happened last night should never have happened on this floor. And I swear to you, we'll find out who did this. I swear it. And nothing like this will ever happen again. And then she turns and walks out of the area. Regulus kind of... <clears throat> that is all for today. You will have lunch in half an hour and classes will resume at one o'clock. You may go. Stex said everyone, Victor and leave, and she owned turn to leave. Uh, Damien's there, right? Yes. All right. I, I want Brack, as we're walking out, to ask Damien, so what did you find out with the creepy one? Well, um... It looks like we need everyone together to get that information. And no one else but us five. So she gave you guys nothing and just kicked you out? She said she would cooperate with us. But only with us. We had Victor there. As you're talking and as you're walking back into the main meeting room and in the cafeteria, you see Cal, Vlazer, and Slurks kind of lurking in the cafeteria. And they see you, Wu, and Vlazer kind of goes, well, it's over already? And they kind of, you know, Slurks kind of shifts a little bit. Uh, no one cared about that kid anyway. It doesn't matter. When's lunch, right? <laughs> and they start laughing together. Bro, hold on, hold on, hold on. From yes. behind Wu, wait, like wait, right no. next to his <laughs> ear, you hear a bow being drawn, and it's like right between Cal's eyes. And Eden is now, she, I, can I she is me. Sure, sure, sure. Now, I want to keep in mind, Slurks and Blazer said those things, and Cal was about to say something, and the arrow was... Oh, okay. She, she was cutting him off before so, he could say anything because she knew. So, okay, Wu, do you still want to oh, do something? You're, aim, you're aiming. You're aiming at Cal, right? Yeah. If I shoot him, he's he's dead. Okay. Can <laughs> I, point can blank I roll, to his head. What would you think would be most yeah. appropriate to yeah. land a surprise attack on both Slurk and Vlaser at uh, the same yeah, time? Yeah, roll acrobatics. That works. Uh, oof. I'm sorry, my boy. I don't think I'm gonna get it. Oh no. It's a six. So, you didn't expect Eden to draw her bow and, and like, immediately react. So, Slurks and Blazer kind of jump back, and then they see you coming and are able to dodge right as you attempt to hit them. Uh, and Cal goes, whoa, 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 whoa. I say, hey, Cal. <laughs> How's it going? Uh, 
not the best time, as you can see. <laughs> and Slurks and Blazer go, hey, hey, come, killing's against the rule! Do you think I care about that at this point? If she kills you guys, I'll cover it up. You disrespectful rats. You guys really caught us on a bad day. I Go ahead, Cal. Apologize. Say what you were going to say. I was going to shut them up! Oh, sure you were. Put down the bow, oh. Eden. Whatever. I don't have time for this. Next time, and as she says that she snaps the bow closed, maybe it'll be you. And she exits the cafeteria. I wait for everyone to leave, and I ask, I ask Cal if, if he meant that. What does it matter? You won't believe me anyway. No one cares about who I am. And he just well, heads for the training hall. I, I, I yell out, if it's true, thanks. Slurks and Blazer are like still pretty on edge about what just happened. And you can tell Slurks is a bit more afraid. Blazer looks like he's kind of pissed off about being treated that way. And they both follow after Cal. As they're walking away, I just say towards Blazer, that was some pretty big talk coming from someone who can't aim. <laughs> and he turns around if you say that one more time what are you going to do shoot me <laughs> oh, no. oh man I feel like Blazer is like is justifiably like we're allowed to bully him as much as we want oh, oh yes man. oh yes he did it to Ooh. himself. Uh, hey, he should have never missed so many times in combat. That's that's what. Yeah, that really, that really ruined him. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> at that part, he became a walking meme. Oh my god. He did. He really did. <laughs> he looked like he was like... about to respond, but Slurk stops him and they go into the trade hall. Go ahead, dude. But he knows it's true. <laughs> <laughs> and as you all prepare to get some lunch, suddenly, Eden. Your pocket pops up with a message. Uh-oh. And it says, training tonight at 7 p.m. Don't miss it. Oh, Ari Regulus. No. And we're going to take our break there. Ah! We'll be back oh, nice. in about five, a little more than five minutes, something like that, to show off the memes and fan art, as always. Um, special shout out to Sharky, who uploaded a ton of videos, video edits, which are hilarious. I try to include some of them here. So hopefully you all enjoy. And we'll wait, 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 hold on, yeah, hold on. Shall we take like an extra minute because I have to go to the bathroom, but I want to watch the meme reel first. <laughs> so I got to the meme reel and then, yeah, you got me? All right, cool. Yeah, we got you. <laughs> I think I understand. Uh, All right, we'll be back in a few minutes. A few minutes. <laughs> See you care, soon. Everybody.
drill, I don't trust you, I'm gonna get it from morning, get it shut down You ever want to talk about your emotions, Tian? No. I do. I know, David. I'm sad. I know, David. Go. <laughs> Have fun. Good. <laughs> that is not correct. Because according to the encyclopedia of Road work ahead? Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. Why don't we just relax and turn on the radio? Would you like M? Hey, beautiful. I get two rum and cokes. You didn't have to buy me a drink. Oh my god. Two shots of vodka. <laughs> then. No! Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh! So I've been trying to play fetch with this dog, but for some reason he doesn't want to play. Look. Come here, little guy. Come here. Where are you going? Baby, you're like lightning in a bottle. You're exciting and unstable and can definitely kill me. Be forgetting I am a father. Mother. Mm -hmm. Mother, I crave violence. Traumatized by something? Don't go to therapy. Drink every day. Be a man. <laughs> I bought a duck. <laughs> Thank you.
Look how cute he is! Look how cute he is! Look how cute he is! How can you not love that? Now, we got work. I don't really wanna do the work today. I don't really wanna do the work today. I don't really wanna do the work today. I don't wanna do the work today. What? What's this? Uh oh, I don't, I don't really, really wanna, wanna do, do the, the work today. I don't really wanna do the work today. I don't really wanna do the work today. I don't wanna do the work today. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. <laughs> and we are back. I wish I could show more. <laughs> As you can see, we thoroughly enjoyed the memes and videos. For I, everyone who wasn't here, oh, man. Um, oh, they just great. they were just laughing at the memes the entire time. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, Bro, so I was, was like, okay, was I'll that, go to the bathroom now. I quickly came that back. Was, um, after that was Sharky that made the, the break. That was Sharky that made the Boris one, right? <laughs> Boris and Regulus, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Sharky. Sharky, thank when you that so one came much. on, Yo, that they, one they was lost perfect. it. They oh, God. Lost that one was perfect. So good. And I saw, I saw it earlier this week, and I completely <laughs> forgot that it was a thing. <laughs> oh, I needed that. Oh, and Sharky, so thank you for the Kool Aid Man ones. Those are the ones I asked for, so I appreciate you. Perfect. There's so many more. There's I Brack. There's Brack cooking in some of them, and uh, some of the other ones that are great. So if yeah. you want to see those, you gotta join the Discord because there's oh, a ton man. of them. Definitely join the Discord if that's something you want to see. Uh, I definitely gotta join. That that that, <laughs> that, that, that convinced you. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I think I did join and I never like actually joined. You know I mean? Oh, there oh. is a system. You gotta like. Millie has been son. You need to get on this, yeah. children. Come on. Yeah, I've messed up. I'm, yeah, uh, uh, I'll do it after this stream. I'll do it after this stream. Uh, all, right, uh, 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 all right. The chat's pretty active. I, this week yeah, say, was me and all Isaiah, theories. we've been. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's true. Week... It's fun. It's fun to go in there and, and pass progressively not be able to talk about anything. Yes. <laughs> about <tax> and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. This week was all theories, which was super, super fun. Um, mm -hmm. Also, we're sitting at 124 likes, which is awesome. Uh, we're like oh, yeah. almost halfway. That's insane. Um, for those of you who don't Let's know, go. like goal at 350. Uh, we'll do something special if you do. We'll we'll uh, we'll do figure something out. Hate it, man. You better figure. You just start planning now. Start planning. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Yeah, right. One on one uh, interviews yeah. with the whole cast. I'm just kidding. We'll we'll <laughs> do the Christmas episode. Oh, if you, no, no, we need like 500 likes for that. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. We got yeah. time. We'll get there. We'll, yeah, get there. we'll get there in time. <laughs> Uh, really quickly as well, I want to give a shout out to the wiki because uh, they've been working hard. And if yeah. you want to check out the wiki, it's looking clean. I'm going to show part of it here. Uh, with all a bunch of details that are being added, um, including like party abilities and stuff. So definitely check out the wiki. Um, you can find that link also. Maybe someone could put it in the chat um, and go support the, yeah. the wiki mods. because they're Y'all putting stuff in the wiki that I didn't even know, bro. I'm <laughs> trying to think like, y'all know more about this shit than me. Like I, I, I was reading my character when I was like, wait, what? I said that? Oh. <laughs> You're like, wait a minute. All right. <laughs> they're killing it. They're, killing they're really it. doing a great job. Um, that's awesome. Uh, Har Hardisba, thank you for the super chat. Fortunately, not caught up. I hope you have a great session. Thank you. Oh, Appreciate thank that. You. Thank you. Thank catching you. Up. Appreciate it. Enjoy. Appreciate it. Enjoy that. But okay, we're going to cut back now to the current state of things. It is now <coughs> almost lunchtime, but I've just been informed that as Cal, well, Eden, you are in the training hall currently. Yes. And you, you just stormed out after the whole thing with Cal. Um, but you are surprised to see that him and his little duo of buddies enter the training hall as well. And she has just been going to town on targets. Like, there are right. tons of arrows and all of these targets just peppered. And she is sweating and putting in work. Cal kind of stops, notices you. And she <laughs> immediately Bo goes right to the three, and she has three... Like physical yeah. arrows, not bang arrows. She has three yeah. physical arrows pulled and aimed at all three of them. Slurks yeah. and Blazer kind of back off, but Cal says, Shoot! Go on! Shoot me! And he has his <laughs> hand on his needle. Cal's looking for a guy today. She lets, out, oh, she lets out this like sinister, like creepy, almost hollow laugh at them. And then she spins on a heel, does a roll, and then shoots them into the, the targets farther away and just keeps working 
I just need to have it in you. Laser. Cal, huh. you're not gonna be a martyr for your own ego's sake. Just shut up. And she just keeps going. And like you're noticing, like, there's some blood that are starting to form on her, her, right. her bow hand because sure. she's just going through so many. Slurks and Blazer say, hey, come on, man, let's go. And Cal just kind of looks at, at Eden. And she's not paying them any more attention. No, I'm going to stay. You guys go. And they're, like, looking at each other. And he, he walks off into a corner and starts training with his needle. With a wooden needle. And the two of them leave the room. Um... I'm going to say you just train. He's not going to bother you, and I'm assuming right. you're not going to bother him. So the two of you, no. two arch rivals training in opposite sides of the room uh, for the duration. And then it's about noon, so lunch is being served currently. Um, everyone starts gathering at the table, unless someone lets me know otherwise. Uh, Eden just stays in time. the training hall. Okay, cool. Excellent. I, I didn't eat Every breakfast, so I'm kind of hungry. I'm, I'm definitely starving. Okay. Everyone gathers around the table, and except for Eden, uh, you know, his Cal's not there either, obviously. And <clears throat> Leaf says, "Sit with us anyway, bro." <laughs> right. I'm just saying. He's, you notice he's not in the room. You take note of that. <laughs> you didn't know he's been there every time. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Waiting for the invite. Right. Uh, he, he, he gotta wear pink on Wednesdays to sit with us, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Leaf says, "That was." Really nice. Yeah. It was really nice. It was. I'm sure my boy Spudge would be happy. Also, Leaf, don't pay any attention to that magazine I pulled out. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> I uh, I let everybody know about the conversation we had with Flux Folk. Oh, okay. She's gonna help us. Well, she's gonna help us specifically. Only the five of us. We can't. Why is it always just the five of us? No offense to you guys. I love you guys, but I don't get it. I don't know either. Victor so. says, at least it makes more sense now as to why y'all were kind of acting on your own. She is a freak. He looks at Shion. Same. Freak. I look over at Shion and I said, it, had, it really had nothing to do with you guys. It's just the situations we get put in. It's just. Yeah, it's. They only me. want the five of us. Who even is she anyway? I don't even know if there's one person in there. He's out of her mind. She scares me. I rarely meet people that scare me. I'm glad it's just us. I don't want her having anything to do with leaving Stag, so. Yeah. That's... She sounds like a well, problem. Can everyone roll perception? <clears throat> the four of you? Sixteen. 10 plus 6. Come on, come on. Oh, God. 14 for me. Mm -hmm. Perception. My roll would have been so good. 18. Perception. Okay. Percep. 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 It is 16. Oh, 16. Okay. 16. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. 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 So when you're talking about Flux Vulk, suddenly, Gasu, you're the first to notice. You kind of do a little double take, and Flux Vulk walks over to your table. <laughs> Yeah. Guys, she's on her way over. Oh, and you are surprised to notice she's unhooded. Uh, so you can see her face and everything. Some of the regulars kind of look at her weirdly. And I she... give her a friendly wave. I say, hey. So uh, you did your makeup today and you're wanting to show your face, huh? And you can tell she's kind of looking around. Uh, she, so... Shion and I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna say Shion and Stexa are sitting next to Damien, and she walks up behind Shion and just stares down at her. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh, you god damn! Her man, the bro. Alpha energy, yo. Oh, I uh, I get up out of my chair and I offer my seat. Aww. That's not what she wanted. <laughs> She, that was she the incorrect answer. <laughs> puts her hand on your shoulder and pushes you back down. Tries to push oh you back God. down. Oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, girls to get up, bro. My eyes are just <laughs> wide and confused. And then uh, Shion finally kind of 
She gets up and then Fluxfuck hurries and sits down and then smiles. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. I, I give, I give Shion like a I'm sorry look. Shion's just kind of too weirded out to even... She's just kind of shaking her head and sitting somewhere else. Well, uh, well, we were just talking about you. Uh, this is Fluxfolk, everyone. She looks over at everyone else and kind of raises an eyebrow. But when she looks over and she sees Leaf, she smiles and waves. <gasps> at her. Uh, Fluxfolk, why are you looking at Leaf like that? <laughs> oh, didn't I tell you? I just think she's so adorable. Well, can't argue with that. Stay away from her. <laughs> Leaf just kind of gives a little wave, but kind of, you can tell she sits closer do to you. Don't, don't do anything, Leaf. You don't, you don't need to talk to her. Well, it seems like maybe everyone's getting along a little better. She's looking over at all four of you. Yes, everyone is getting along great. Who said we weren't getting along? She looks at Gasu and... <laughs> yeah, so like he's, he's adamantly <laughs> avoiding eye contact with her. <laughs> I should have known. Well, I just wanted to come say hi, and normally I don't like to come out showing my face, but I'm trying to grow as a person. Well, you do look good today. I mean, um, yeah. Well, that's a good start. God damn it, Wool. <laughs> Growth is all about putting yourself out there. So I am happy that you are here. Oh, thank you. And she says, Brack, it's good to see you. <laughs> Not good to see you. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Where's <laughs> no, we won't. Where's what? Eden? Where's my best friend? She's I... looking around. Mm -hmm. uh... She is in the training hall, I think. Isn't yeah, she's uh, in the training hall. Kind of annoyed and upset after uh, some insensitive comments were made about my boy Sponge. She should be here soon, mm -hmm. though, I believe. I she tried reaching her on her pocket. It's... I want some food. And she looks over at Shion. Um, can you please? <laughs> and she... I, I I get up out of my seat and I was like, yeah, sure. What do you want? What is this? What you uh, she, she, oh, you're so sweet, Damien. Whatever you think is fine is fine with me. I'll get everyone food. Luxfolk, you you eat? Just assume it's one of it's one of her what? favorite activities. <laughs> oh, he you remembered. Said that like, what? Uh, I think we're good. Are you okay? Hello. Uh, hopefully. Yeah. You're good. Can you hear us? Oh, we're still live. Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay, uh, okay. I hate it when oh. there was like a weird reset with OBS, so now it's like 13 seconds live, and I was like, oh crap. Uh, <laughs> no, that, hap that happens yeah, sometimes. That's yeah, yeah. Cool. but we're good. It's still continuing. We're good. We're good. It's my least favorite thing. It's going to happen someday. We have to be do a part one and a part two. I hate that so much. It's like, oh, oh that's no. the most annoying yeah, thing, dude. I hate it. By so far. Much. Yeah. No, but we're good. All right. Sorry, chat. Um,. Yeah, but Shion just kind of was just taken aback and didn't even respond, obviously. Um, oh. So, Damien, you're going to go get some food. And yep, yep. Victor... I'll go get everyone food. Sure. Okay. All right. Uh, Victor kind of goes, hey, has any, have any of you seen Boris lately? And Shion says, well, he's... turns to Victor. Oh, who? yeah. Sorry. What do you mean, who? Boris. With the big sword, right? I don't know. Yeah, Ari, Bor <laughs> Ari Boris. Didn't you? You fought him during the crowd? Maybe you didn't. I can't even remember. Doesn't matter, uh, though. So, okay. I know think, of, is, but think of you, but brown hair. And maybe even less nice? Maybe? Then you the got one who tripped and fell? Sounds like a punk. Yeah, the one who tripped and just fell. goes back to eating. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Shion just says, he's usually just in his room, but I haven't seen him in a while. Victor, you don't know anything about that? What? 
Uh, well, I was asking because uh, tonight we're going to have training with uh, Regulus, so. Oh. Finally. Finally sent I know, right? Day three? Sheesh. But I guess better late than never, right? I guess. Uh, you think he's going to show up for that, didn't you say he wasn't too fond of his? Yeah, not exactly a big fan. But I do think that at the end of the day, Boris wants to get stronger. So I have faith he might show up. He sounds very 50-50. Why don't you try to convince him, man? He might listen to you. You'd be surprised. Eh, if he's even in his room, I guess I could try. E Eden's usually better with this sort of thing, though. That charm, I don't know. But, uh, you know, I'm gonna leave it alone. She'd be mad at me. I don't want to piss her off. Yeah, probably smart. Uh, she, <laughs> she has a bit of a temper. You like that, don't you? God, blue. Why can't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and while cool. Victor is talking, Flux is just looking at him and very like narrow-eyed. Uh, Flux, well, you got a problem with uh, Victor here? What's going on? Putting it lightly. What do you mean? Didn't he go with you guys earlier? Yeah, and almost got his head chopped off. Ooh. Rough, He's man. too close to you all. I don't like it. Yeah, you could say that about a lot of people these days. Yasu says this is eating. <laughs> Who would you be referring to? Says Shion to Gasu. I mean, everyone. Everyone? Even your... Black team from the King of the Sea. Yeah. Hmm. She kind of just shakes her head and continues to eat. I mean, hey, Gasu, I got a good question for you. you know, yeah, go ahead, ask. Would you rather spend a day with Flux Folk or Victor? Never mind. Go ask someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Flux just says, uh, oh, try. I'm sure he'd choose me. Gasu may be prickly, but at the end of the day, RG, Gasu's a good boy. Did you just call me prickly? Is that bad? I'm you know sorry. what? I actually I just decided go. that I'm full. I'm going to go check on Eden. Gasu puts his plate down and gets up to walk out. Sure. Oh, I always say the wrong thing. How about you say the right thing and tell me how you're gonna help us? You'll find out soon, just be patient. As soon as the five of you are on speaking terms again, I'll have some news for you. And then she starts to eat. I love how you can keep the secrets you want, oh, wait, but I'm so keen to tell everybody else's. Oh, I'm sorry, Damien, I forget, right, duh. <laughs> I'm going to assume you're back and juggling a bunch of plates or whatever. Uh, I just got a bunch of random things. <gasps> it's perfect, Damien. Thank you. Oh, How did you know this is my favorite? I, <laughs> I, I got a bunch of random things. It's uh, just like a piece of bread. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Um, so Gasu, they're talking and everything, and Gasu, you enter the training hall, and you see Cal furiously training in one side of the room, and Eden furiously training in another side. Uh, this time you do see her, though. She's no longer using arrows. She is beating the shit out of a punching, like a, a bag. She's working on martial arts. Wow, there's a lot of, a lot of tension in this room. It's great. <laughs> And Nagasu like sort of turns back thinking like if he should go back to the cafeteria right. and then remembers who's back in the cafeteria. <sighs> well, I'll take my chances with this crowd. And he walks into the training the training hall. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. Cal, he looks over at you. <laughs> and he continues to train. You can tell he's kind of getting out of breath. Eden pays zero mind. She's concentrating on what she's doing. Hmm. And Gasu walks over to the, like, the wooden needles that are, you know, just in the corner of the room and starts, like, setting them up to do 
like some target practice of his own. Sure, and Cal notes of what you're doing in particular. Hey! 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 Yes, can I help you? What's that stance you're taking? Uh, it's a well-renowned stance called none of your business. Uh, why don't you leave me alone? Drops the that, that, that one kind of hurt a bit, not gonna lie. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and then Gasu like closes his eyes to like, yeah, you know, go back to contact. Cal is watching you, he's gonna watch what you do. And then in the blink of an eye, Gasu opens his eyes, he draws his sword, and all the needles get cut in half. <sighs> Damn it. How'd you do that? <sighs> Wow, really, more questions. Can I help you with something other than bothering me? And Cal kind of turns and he starts setting up needles, kind of like how you were doing, not nearly <laughs> as uh, precisely. He looks over at you and he gets into a stance of his own where he sheaths his, uh, his needle. He's closer to them though, like he's like right, you know, they're kind of like right next to him. Right, right. Or right in front of him. Ah, and he swings and it's pretty even at first, but then it kind of gets off near the near the end where it kind of cuts uh, only the tippy top near the end. <sighs> yeah, so lets out like a little chuckle and then turns away. Uh, and he just keeps training back in his own corner. I'm going to say it's now class time. Everyone's kind of was doing their own thing. And now uh, it's nearing one o'clock. Is everyone fine with just cutting to classes briefly? As the boys are doing their stances and it's getting close yes. to time to leave, mm -hmm. with a big, like, exasperated and kind of a mournful yell, okay. she, Eden just knocks the punching bag off the thing. It goes flying into the wall. Okay. And she's just standing there huffing. Cal kind of looks back, surprised. Yeah, and Gazu doesn't like turn to, to it, but he opens like one eye, like noticing that it happened. Fair enough. I have I got some stuff I do after. After class or? No, like right quick. Like sure, go for it. All right. uh, I need to tell Leaf. Yes. Um, Leaf, when you go to Brooke's class today, I told you she really admires you and thinks you have potential. Make sure you ask her a lot of questions. All right. Okay. I will. I, I'm starting to get used to it, I think. You got this. You're a lot stronger than you think. Okay. Okay. And then you want to talk to someone I, else? I need to talk to Gasu real quick outside the training call. Sure. Uh, you can head towards there. Uh, I'm going to say everyone else, you start heading to your classes. Uh, and then, Damien, as you're heading to class, Flux Vulk kind of takes your arm and puts her arm through through yours and just kind of walks with you. I, crazy, um, they gonna be a thing. I, <laughs> um, yeah. Normally, Davey would love this at that I just, <laughs> <laughs> this is, um, <clears throat> friends don't normally do this. Why not? They, they walk, uh, all oh, a couple feet away from each other. In fact. <laughs> Side by side. <laughs> hmm. That that kind of thing. And she let's, she let, takes her arm let's, away. Let's uh, I mean, let's work on it, okay? I'll I'll show you how to be more sociable if you help me with this investigation. As I and she just, just kind of stares at you for a second. Look, look away sheepishly. No. Sounds good. And then she she walks next to you but doesn't uh, touch you again. Uh, you notice that when she took your arm, Grace Belger definitely like jumped up and didn't <laughs> didn't like it at all. Oh, no! Uh -oh. Grace Belger, where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> have you been with me this whole time? Why didn't you say anything? <laughs> have you just been hiding? He's just, just looking at Flux and uh, not liking what he's seeing. Uh-oh. 
Dude, animal I mean, sense danger, bro, before people. Mm, Just saying. It's not okay, Grace Felger. Fox is a friend. I'm a Throw popcorn friend. in their hair, Grace Felger. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's definitely keeping it close. Close. <laughs> I, um... Good to see you, buddy. It's been a long time. <laughs> okay. I so... thought I lost you after yesterday. Oh, shoot. Wait, you were with me this whole time, though? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to cut to Wu, who's entering the training hall. Hey, Gatsu, am I interrupting? <sighs> no, I was about to head out anyway. What's up? We do a uh, class. I know you're on board with this whole investigation thing, right? Not really, if I'm being honest. I mean, I know Sponge was close to you or something, but people die in the tower every day. It's not really our responsibility to personally investigate each and every one of them, is no. it? No, oh, of course not. You misunderstand me, and I told this to Eden earlier. I don't really, I, I will figure things out for Sponge, but I don't really care about all that. There's a web of lies, and it particularly seems to involve us, and I'm trying to protect myself and the rest of us. So, just keep your eyes open when you go to class and you observe Brooke. She seemed a little disheveled, and it's off-putting. Yeah, I can get behind that. I don't really care much about these rankers, and I do think we're being lied to and used by all of them. I'm about yeah. that. All right. And uh, do me a favor and keep an eye on Leaf. That was the little girl, right? I mean, yeah. Th 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 you, you were ne Never mind. Yes. Just, just keep an eye on her, please. All right. Okay. Thanks, bro. So we're going to cut the class here and do a brief... Uh, very brief thing in each class. Fisherman. Scopio just goes into detail about how a fisherman is supposed to be both a fighter, but also someone who can take attacks for his team. You're also supposed to be just as defensive as you are offensive. So teaching you various uh, situations where you would act one way or another. And then there's a brief... Um, a brief time where he pairs you up with people and has one person like charge into the other person uh, and see how well you can like withstand the situation. Uh, and he pairs you with Bulwark. Uh, <laughs> and he has Bulwark be the charger oh, and no. you be the tank. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do I gotta roll for it? <laughs> My roll going to be atrocious. What? <laughs> All right, so... Got nothing but hate, bro. <laughs> He's just I looking at you and shaking his head. Oh, man. All right, and he... So both are going to roll athletics. <laughs> oh, boy. I would, you know, I wouldn't mind if this was a whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> if this, is, if this was an anime... Oh, I'm that grubber. All right, um... <laughs> 24. Oh, my God. oh shit. So oh, damn, the bullying say... continues. <laughs> yes, it does. I'm gonna say ah, you're boy. you're surprised by how hard it was, but you he couldn't budge you. You were you were you know he's a big guy just like you, but you you tanked the attack and didn't even budge. Bullwork. <sighs> Looks like you're about to crap your pants. What you doing down there, buddy? And he keeps trying to ram uh, into you, and you just keep blocking him. And at this uh, point, you're you're really trying, huh? Uh, uh. <sighs> Oh, 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 looks like for you're about to blow there, buddy. <laughs> ah, ah, oh, ah. No. You still don't got me. You still don't and got me. I slap him upside his head and I go, ah, you, you, you do oh, harder than that, no. dummy. Like, you, like, it's like back at the crown game. You kept using your body instead of your actual arms. You have weapons. It's called D's. Use them when you try to tackle me. What is wrong with you? Scorpio, please, please, please. Oh, my Help him! Help him! He was your ally. <laughs> he held off an entire team by himself for you. I feel bad for him now, dude. I didn't care before, but I actually feel bad for him, dude. Oh my god. I just want to point out my character is chaotic neutral. I love him, though. We love him so much. Oh, fuck. Uh... Oh, oh my, my god, I can't breathe. I can't tell breathe. Me, tell Scopio's me it doesn't end there. <laughs> Please tell me Scopio's laughing. <laughs> uh, he might have cracked a smile, it's hard to tell. Uh, by the end of the session, his arm is just a big bruise. Bulwark's oh, arm. No. Oh, he just, damn. 
and you didn't move even an inch throughout the entire thing. Look, bro, Bulwark, Bulwark wants I to just switch positions. I don't even blame him, bro. <laughs> Bulwark, I just want to say to you, you're useless. <laughs> Please, no. drop off the tower now before you get yourself killed. Oh, I can you. That's why I'm One of these days, I will come out on top. And you're gonna One of these days, you will actually break that arm touching me. Please, get some help, sir. He did think... <laughs> he's, just, he's, oh, gonna be, he's gonna be like a ranker someday. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's gonna get revenge. I, I can't wait till we have a time skip and he just comes back with like an ignition weapon or something. We're creating the series villain right here. Main antagonist. Oh, uh, not to metagame, but like I, I was <sighs> I did think of Boulder and I, I you know, so I think Bulwark is kinda like the uh he's the new Boulder that I had planned. Oh, oh I feel so bad. I, I, I literally thing. was just like, okay, big so guy, bad. but you know, <laughs> I was like, fine, I'll make another big guy. Sure. Anyway, enough, <laughs> enough metagame. All right. Uh, so we cut to the spear bearer class and uh, Nissan is teaching you all how to back and forth, like rocking the spear, how to use it in conjunction with the Shinsu, uh, how, how to allow it to flow through the Shinsu well. Um, and again, he's reiterating Actually, he's gonna ask, does anyone know the first main point that I made in this class? Again, asking for interaction whenever possible. The first important thing about being a spear bearer. No one? Anyone? Victor at this point is just like about to fall asleep. Uh, he looks disappointed. Okay, uh, well, accuracy or precision and strength in equality. You can't have one without the other. You could hit your target, but if it does no damage, what's the point? Or you could throw it as hard as you can, but if it doesn't hit the target, what's the point? Both in conjunction. Allow them to help boost each other. Now, and he continues talking about using the spear, and there's a, a time where... Uh, he sets up targets at the very far end of the room and has all of you throw your spear and try to hit the target. So, Eden, go ahead and roll. Um, I'm going to say acrobatics. <gasps> acrobatics? Okay. Um, yes. Yep. Acrobatics. Okay. Question. Can I first roll either perception or investigation to keep an eye on everything he said in the class in case I pick up on anything? Sure. Roll perception. Okay. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's real good. <clears throat> uh, that's 23. Okay. Both you and Victor especially are de have, well, Victor ended up getting really sleepy, but at the start of the class, he was very active, trying to see if anything was off. And at the start of the class, he did uh, mention his condolences for Sponge and bring that up as a topic. But aside from that, he seemed pretty, pretty much the same to you as he's always been. Nothing seems off. Okay. Yeah. Um, All right, and now I got to roll acrobatics. 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 Right. acrobatics. Okay. All You're right, please be good to me, dice. You're going to and then throw it. Ah, 17. Okay. The spear flies across the room and... Oh, actually, uh, never mind. Uh, it flies across the room and it does hit the target. Um, it's like just off center to the left, but it does hit the target. Um, and you continue to do pretty well. You feel like you're getting used to the spear. Still prefer the bow by a lot, but you know, mm. you're starting to understand like how the spear functions overall. Victor kind of nudges you. I knew you'd be great at this. Hmm. Thanks. And you can also and, tell he's kind of he... gauging how you would react. Yeah, and, and you can see like her hands are wrapped up from the earlier session and there's blood kind of seeping through the, the bandages she had applied to herself. And she's just looking at the targets. Just pretty, pretty, pretty solemn. Okay, he doesn't mention it. Uh, he Cut. just looks down and then continues. Okay. Light bearer class, Charity teaches you all how to, now that you're understanding how to allow the lighthouses to float around you, now she's teaching you the properties of expanding the lighthouse and in particular, creating a command center. <clears throat> so situating yourself inside of a lighthouse and using it as you're like operating uh, room. So Ooh. Damien, all right. Um, this is a weird thing. You can add this to your character sheet however you'd like, but this is gonna sound weird. 
I'm gonna add a new skill to the game, and we're just gonna Ooh. call it Lighthouse, okay? And nice. okay. you can put it somewhere, wherever you want, but it operates off of um, charisma, okay? All right. You're not proficient in it, but it is a skill. So if I say like roll Lighthouse, right? It's That would be roll plus charisma. Okay. Oh, that's pretty dope. Okay, so... So you said, like, you said a d20 plus charisma? Yep, yeah. It's like, gotcha. it, it'd okay. be like stealth or whatever, you know. Gotcha, gotcha, uh, gotcha. So, Damien, go ahead and make a lighthouse check. It's so a I, nice ring to it. Sorry, go ahead. It's, it's based on charisma, you said, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, 15 plus 3, then. So okay. 18. Nice. You're definitely, definitely learning how to use that lighthouse, manipulate it. And you, you are... Yes. You almost are the first student to, to <laughs> learn this really well, but Flux Ball no! is one step ahead. <laughs> and she's expanding her lighthouse. Impossible! <laughs> and reality the, the is one -on -one, uh, to <laughs> my will. <laughs> yeah, you're going to need some private sessions with Flux Ball. Uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> I told you not to touch her. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do nothing. <laughs> It's what you didn't do. <laughs> oh, no. And as she starts to perfect it, she looks over at you, and she's like, look, this is how it's done. Do you need any help, Damien? Um, slightly jealous, slightly salty. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. You're you doing great. You just let me know, okay? And quickly afterward, you start to get the hang of it, and you are, you are able to learn how to manipulate one lighthouse to a size where you would be able to sit within it. Um, you like started learning that much. Uh, it still takes a lot of concentration, but that is where you're currently at. Can I stand on top of the lighthouse? Uh, yes, yes you can. Can I, stand, can I stand on top of the lighthouse and float around on it? Very slowly, but yeah. Yes. <laughs> Like, it's, like, pretty darn slow. You know what I mean? Like, slower than walking, but you can do it. That's fine. <laughs> it's dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine Damien turning a corner, like, really slowly on a lighthouse. <laughs> just turn, <laughs> comes down you toward, down the hall. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for after. After class, everyone meets in the cafeteria. I descend from the ceiling. Oh, my oh. gosh. I have arrived for dinner. <laughs> oh, man. Bro, we gotta, Damien, we got to have a party, bro, and you got to use the lighthouse as a disc. Go bold, man. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. That's true. It's, yeah. work. <laughs> it's possible. First okay. Railgun going to take your lighthouse. <laughs> going to be the one floating down. He's, take, uh, he's taking my notes. Charity also in particular talks about the importance of using a lighthouse in conjunction with an observer. Like, she keeps talking about the observer as well. Scout class. H1 is talking about the differences between a lighthouse and an observer, talking about how observers are not as expensive because lighthouses are made out of float rock, which is an expensive material. And uh, they're less sturdy, however, so that means that if they get hit by an attack, they're much more susceptible to damage, but they're smaller and lighter and generally like easier to, to learn how to use. And in addition, and you can tell she's like proudly talking about the advantages of having an observer, talking about how observers also have a lot of combat abilities and functions that lighthouses do not, um, and, and how lighthouses are more support, and while observers can also be used for support capabilities, it's different support capabilities, and so the observer stands out on its own, and without the scout, you know, the light, the light bearer would have a very hard time gathering information. Uh, I'm also going to add a new skill to the game, observer. <laughs> And that's going to operate off of Wisdom. Okay. And you're not proficient uh, in it, but... All right. Okay. It. Go ahead and make an Observer check. Can I ask H1 a question? Yes, Mr. Wu. Uh, Ms. H1, I heard there were special types of Observers. One suited more for offense. Have you ever used one of those? My observer is a mixture, and she pops it out between offense and defense. It is not purely one or the other. Interesting. That's cool. Uh, so wait, you said it operates on wisdom? Yeah. Okay, what is my wisdom? Plus three. 18. 
Oh man, all right. Nice. You start to really, so before you could use the observer and you could send it a lot of, out of little ways. Now you're like getting really comfortable with it and everything H1's saying makes a lot of sense. Um, you're starting to understand and now you're also starting to be able to use the camera function and you can even allow it to, when it's using taking footage, it doesn't look the best and you're, you're still struggling with the connection. It can send footage to your pocket. So you're kind of like looking at both and looking at how it's able to do this. Um, and then there's a, whoops, I think I muted on Discord for a second. Uh, and then there's a moment where H1 starts talking about the importance of understanding creatures in the tower and how when you come across a creature, it's the scout's job to identify its weaknesses and report to the light bearer. And kind of a different, thing that you hadn't normally heard in the class before and h1 uh she snaps her fingers and then the screen behind her shows this creature uh it looks like a big hippo and it has like rocks all over its body kind of coating it's you know everything with just tiny little holes this is a hippo lie remember this this is important hippo lies have rock extrusions all over their body including their face it's extraordinarily difficult to attack it with slashing or bludgeoning attacks. However, some piercing attacks will work if you can manage to find an opening. They tend to be aggressive for no reason. If they see you, they will think you are an enemy. They like to eat food that is rough and hard and tough. They're also weak to Shinsu attacks. You may be wondering why I'm telling you all this. Well, this is important to know enough said now and she snaps your finger and you see a very similar creature um a hippo with some rock excru uh, extrusions over the body but you notice there's nothing on the face or the stomach and she makes this point this is called a hama hamas are related to hippoli but they're not quite the same thing the rocks are slightly more red and she points and you can tell very slight difference the hippoli it was like brown and this one's red slight red its weakness is the face and the stomach. They're also aggressive, but only when their homes or family is threatened. They eat soft foods. They are resistant to slashing damage, but typically weak against Shinsu and bludgeoning, if you can remove their armor with bludgeoning attacks. Any questions? No, I can tell the difference. Good. And we move on to the wave controller class. And Gasu Leaf sits next to you uh, oh. at the start of class, and she just she doesn't say anything, but she just sits down and prepares to listen to the lecture. Um, and Brooke's, you can tell Brooke is acting differently. She no longer <clears throat> is smiling. She's just teaching, kind of going through the motions. You can tell she has a lot on her mind. Can I also actually roll for, what was it, perception? Yeah, go like, for it. Like did just to... Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, shit, 22. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice. 22, right, What you okay. hiding, girl? What you hiding? Brooke definitely seems a little more even aggressive, angry, and there's now only five wave controllers in the class, and you can tell it's, like, weighing down on her. And oh, yes, you get the... Um, right. <laughs> you didn't recognize your own classmate. How dang, you, Gosh, Look, bro, I'm you. Back, okay? It's not Jeez. my job to take roll call, all right? Jeez. All six of you, yes. So <laughs> difficult. All six of you, man. <laughs> you didn't even remember Leech's name five minutes it's ago. True, true. <laughs> You're not wrong. Um, <laughs> the fifth. And uh, Brooke gives each of you a Shinsu wand. It looks pretty cheap. It doesn't seem like much, but... As she's teaching you about creating a bang, just one bang, she tells you if you need to use the rod, that is perfectly acceptable. Uh, and when Leaf asks if she can use her rod, Brooke tells her, no, she must use the ones that are provided. Um, Gasu, she's gonna ask everyone to, to create a bang. So would you like to use the rod or no? Uh, no. Go ahead and roll Arcana. Uh, Arcana, and Arcana. 
for the purposes Where's of the game, going? Arcana is just Shinsu. Like, I might even start calling it make a Shinsu check. Um, and that's based off of intelligence. 18. Yeah. What's up with all the 18s? I mean, I'm down. <laughs> kind of well. As you're channeling the bang, you get the impression, you, you feel a sense of almost familiarity, and the Shinsu easily starts to gather into your body, and it starts to flow. And it takes a few tries. You're, you're not used to it, but quickly, you're able to create a bang. Color, not much color or anything, but a bang floats above your hands. Well done, Gasu. That's very impressive. Uh, Brooke, I have a question. Of course. So, I heard that you're one of the newest teachers to take part on this floor. Is that correct? Yes. How long would you say that you've been a ranker? Well, I've been a ranker for a couple hundred years. Why? Just curious. Okay. We can talk after class if you wish, Gasu. Sure. And she nods. And uh, let me see how our girl Leaf is doing. <laughs> Do well, Leaf. I got a call for a parent teacher conference. She... Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> so Wait. she doesn't want to use the Shinsu rod. She's trying as hard as she possibly can to create a bang on her own. Aww. And, uh, you know, sh the little sapling kind of starts to grow, and, and Brooke always tells her, No, Leaf, you have to create a bang, remember? A bang. I'm trying, I'm trying. And she's trying so hard, and <laughs> she kind of releases her hands and accidentally, like, hits your leg, Gasu. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. And she tries through the entire class, but is unable to create a bang. No, oh, no. Leaf. And at, at, at a certain point, Gasu, like, is watching Leaf, and he's sort of noticing her. You got her a technique. natural one? Yes. Sorry, Ooh. Gasu. Oh, no! Okay. <laughs> Didn't mean to interrupt, but... Damn, damn. No, I was just going to say, Gasu is watching Leaf, like, as she's, Oh, you know, okay. You can tell to. she is trying with everything she has. The other people in the class, um, you don't sense the same amount of, you know, they're, they're, they're giving up easily. Um, a lot of them, a, a couple of them are. Uh, but you can tell she's truly trying to, trying to do this with everything she has. Um, the only other person in the room that creates a bang is Bell. If you don't remember Bell, Bell was during the crown game. He had the bell, which did something to y'all. Uh, and he kind of wears like a priestly right. garment. He created a bang. It took him longer than you though. Bill A. Bartimus, nothing. Uh, Bill, come on, bro. Yeah. And uh, Jada, the symbol man with Flux, uh, was unable to either. And Sp oh, not Sponge. And Sp uh, <laughs> too soon. <laughs> too soon. Wait, wait, Joe, uh, Sponge, Sponge what happened to Sponge? Sponge would have been able to And at the end of class, all the teachers announce that activities will be done tomorrow. And Scout Teacher and the Light Bearer Teacher, they specifically note that the activity will be in conjunction with each other's class. So Light Bearer class and Scout class will be sharing in the same activity. Um, mm -hmm. But the other three are gonna have solo activities. <laughs> I'm hyped to be with Damien, but I don't want to see Flux all the time. <laughs> <laughs> True, I didn't even think of that. Uh, true, true, true. Uh, okay, classes have ended. Now, I'm um, sure some of you will want to talk to people, but before that, as you're preparing to leave, or as Leaf is preparing to leave, um, you notice, Gasu, that someone walks up um, you notice Bill A. Bartimus III walk up to Leaf and he says, Hello there. Can I talk to you for a moment? Um, Wait, is he talk oh, he's talking, he's talking to, Leaf, to Leaf, right? Leaf. No. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Stranger danger, stranger danger, stranger danger. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what about? <laughs> oh, I just wanted to introduce myself and a couple of my friends. Please, follow me. Um, no. Oh, no. at this moment, where's Gasu? Chris Hansen? <laughs> okay, Gasu. Yeah. At this moment, Gasu walks up and puts his hand behind Leaf and puts his body like in between Leaf and Bill. 
Sorry, but I have to buy I have to borrow her today. It's you again, the one in the room of riddles. Don't think I've forgotten you. Well, I've forgotten you, so if you don't mind. <sighs> Give me a second to recover from that, okay? <laughs> uh, look, all I want to do is have a chat with the with the girl. I'm sorry, I think you're confused with somebody that cares. I didn't really ask why you want to see her, but I need her today. So get lost. He peeks around and says, we'll talk soon. And he leaves the room. And you notice he's leaving the room like with Belle and they start talking to each other. Um, thank, thank you, Mr. Gasu. And Gasu sort of taps Leaf on the shoulder. Follow me, meet me in the training hall. Okay, okay. yeah. And she follows you out of the room. Uh, anyone else, as you're leaving, want to have an interaction? I, I want more office hours with H1. Office hours, okay. Sure. I tell Let's Flux Volk I'm going to do something epic in the cafeteria. <laughs> something <laughs> epic? <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to find out. Oh my god, she scares me. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> All right. Uh, as we... Uh, yes. As... As as we're leaving out of uh, Scorpio's class, I just look back at Bulwark and I just laugh at him, point and laugh. Just <laughs> <laughs> you're absolutely useless. <laughs> <laughs> he just oh tries to ignore you as he gathers his things, and Shion walks beside you. And by the way, Boris did attend class. Um, but he did not communicate with anyone. He immediately left. Shion walks up to you, Brack. Uh, is there a reason you hate him so much? He... I was it's... just curious, because you seem to really despise the guy. It's not necessarily despise. It's more so... Uh... He came at me wrong when we first met, and... That's pretty much it. Don't, don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh. Good enough reason for me, I guess. Uh, Eden? Do you do anything in particular? Um, <clears throat> she is going to try to talk to Nissan again and see if the guards are still posted outside oh, the for, offices. for the office hours? Okay. Yeah. So before that, I'm going to say, because I, I want to make sure you didn't make the first move, Nissan said, hey, Eden uh, and Victor, can I talk to you for a moment? I kind of glance over at Victor. Yeah, sure. What's up? Uh, okay. Victor kind of rubs the sleep from his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> he lets out a little chuckle at that. Look, I... He kind of looks around the room. I understand that... Uh, Scopio asked you guys to, to help with everything, and I understand there's been some tension. And I just wanted to say the guards in front of the room... That was only for the morning, while everyone was getting over what happened. But anytime you want to talk to me, let me know, um, because I think I might be able to help. And I talked to Scopio, I talked to Regulus, and what happened to Sponge is terrible. So hmm. I just Inside want you to check. know. Okay. Ooh, that's good. My dice are happy because we're not in combat. <laughs> uh, where is insight? Uh, that's seventeen. Okay, yeah, he he he's definitely being honest with you all, um, from what you can tell, and he, even more so, like it seems like he definitely wants to tell you something, um, in private. Hmm. <clears throat> so. Are we at liberty to talk here? Is this a safe place or? What I was thinking what was if we could talk in Regulus's office. Okay. With Regulus and probably Scopio. All oh. right. Well, we're supposed to meet with him at seven o'clock tonight. <clears throat> um, oh, really? I actually didn't know that. Victor goes, yeah, apparently. yeah. Training, you know. Yes, he finally decided to make good on his promise of giving us private tutorials, I guess. 
Um, do, would you like to meet beforehand? Is that what you're asking? Um, probably for the best. All right, Maybe what time? Maybe after dinner. Okay, six yeah. o'clock. And if if you're busy, we can always do it another time, but I just thought you should know. Something no, else. we can make time for this. This is important. All right, sounds good. Hey, great All job right. in class, you two. Great job. Thank you. Any he heads off? Okay. As I'm walking out with Victor, kind of like look over at him. I was like, did that feel off to you? Not really. What'd you sense? You think he's our guy? <sighs> I don't, I genuinely don't think it's him. Um... But there's also a little part of me that's, as Will demonstrated earlier, I don't trust a lot of people. So, um, blame you. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's interesting that the three oldest or most long-standing teachers want to have a private meeting with us two in particular. And notice he didn't include Boris. Oh, that's true. It's a little curious. Yeah, that is true. I mean, maybe we were the only ones uh, here that he could ask. But why didn't he ask the the normal croup that Regulus and Scopey right. always like to rope in? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I guess they're not in our class. But true, true. That'll be interesting. Yeah. All right. Keep your guard. Keep your guard up for that one. I don't. I yeah. don't know what to make of that. No, you're completely right. Sounds good. And you all head back uh, to the cafeteria for some dinner. And uh, I'm going to say everyone kind of sits together. And wait, Damien, did you want to do anything? Wait, yes. wait, wait. Oh, you, wait. Skipped our you skipped our office hours. Gosh, you <laughs> went to go train with Leaf. Like, what's going on? Oh, yeah, that's right. We're not in the cafeteria. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep things moving. So you're going to the training hall, Gasu, with Leaf. Yeah. And Wu, you're going to the office hours. H1, please. Okay. Um, <laughs> when you get to the door, it, there's a sign that says, out for dinner. Do they have anywhere else to eat on this floor but the cafeteria? You don't know. I, I'll swing by Brooke's office then. You're not going to stop me. <laughs> I'll do everything I can. Now, Brooke, uh, I'm going to say that like, when you get there, she's not there. But then okay. you see her walking down towards you. Uh, hey. can I help you, Will? Well, I was looking for H1. Have you seen her? I mean, it is right after class. Normally, we take a small break before heading to the office, but is there anything well, I can do? you're here? With? Yeah. Uh, you seem a bit off today. I know that one of your students just died and everything, but I expected a ranker to have more composure in the face of death. You're right. It's because I'm not used to all this. What do you mean? You want to come inside? Sure, why not? Got nothing else to do. H1's not here. Is there any worse than H1? I just meant whatever. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and she motions for you to sit down, and she sits down. <clears throat> oh, yeah. How are you holding up? I used to be someone who dreamed of being famous, traveling but the you... power, reaching mm -hmm. out to people in need. But now, the responsibility weighs differently. And... What do you mean? You are famous. You do travel the tower. And from what I can tell, you help everybody that's in sight. Well, thank you, Wu. But at the end of the day, I think this situation has made me realize a lot of things about myself and this floor. Interesting. I'm sure you don't want to tell little old me, but if there's anything I can do, let me know. It's nice to have an ear to listen for once, so thank you. But I'm afraid I probably shouldn't say more. Yeah. 
But your colleagues seem a little rough around the edges. I can't blame you. It doesn't seem like any of them care. My classmates don't either, but I think Sponge was a good kid. Sponge had more potential than you would let on, that you would believe. How so? It didn't seem that strong to me. Is that noticeable to you? No, it really I wasn't, I... and I questioned it during the crown game, his simple bubble attacks. But he's definitely from the Yu family. He had that, that trait, and normally... People from his family are gifted wave controllers, and I just think that pressure may have weighed on him, thinking he wouldn't pass. And I tried to help him, but it wasn't enough. What do you mean you tried to help him? I was under the impression that Sponge hadn't spent any time with you alone. Dur during class, I, I try to help all of my students, but... Huh. Okay, I mean, you sound like a good teacher. I know Leaf really likes you, so... <laughs> She likes me because of my singing career, but I, I appreciate that. Thank you. No, no, she likes you. She stopped talking like that. Shows a lack of self-awareness. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go eat. Friends are kind of waiting for me. Uh, would you like a drink before I go? I'm okay, but thank you for the conversation because... And she kind of hardens herself. This was a good wake-up call for me. Okay, well, I mean... I love to talk, so anytime. All right. Thank you, Will. Take care. Thanks. And shuts the door. I learned so much from that conversation. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> she okay. can't be trusted. She didn't take a swig from the gourd. Don't trust her. <laughs> Based on no who's teacher what? has. No teacher I'm, has. I'm, I'm just, no, the thing I'm concerned with is that I'm putting together what chat's putting down right now. To be honest with you, dude. That was my main takeaway. Cause I didn't pay, I didn't think it was special until then. That's sad, dude. Oh well. Okay. So at this time, Gasu, Leaf, you headed into the training hall, and no one's there currently. Why are we here, Mr. Gasu? Gasu turns around to face Leaf. Leaf, why are you here in the tower? Why do you want to climb it so bad? Um, do you, do you really want to know? Do you not want to tell me? Well, I just haven't told anybody, so I, I, I feel like Mr. Wu should be here. I don't know. All right, that's fine. You don't have to say anything. And Gasu pulls, goes to reach for his sword. Let me ask you this. <laughs> the reason that you are climbing this tower, oh, would you sorry. kill for it? Oh. Kill? Um. And she looks down for a second. Leaf. This tower is not a good place. If it was a bad guy, yes, I would. And Gasu's ears sort of like perk up and he looks back at her. Hmm. And Gasu like gets down on one knee. Leaf, go ahead and try and make a bang right now. Make a bang? Okay. She concentrates and she, she's giving just as much effort as before. And you can tell she's also tired from the entire day. And mm. the sapling starts to show itself and she pushes it back down. And you feel like the Shinsu is gathering, but nothing is materializing. Ugh. I can't do it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And Gasu sort of like inquisitively is watching her hand as she's, you know, trying to make the bang. Leaf, you're thinking. I think you're thinking about this too much. And Gasu holds out his hand, and he starts to create a, uh, a bang of Shinsu. Leaf, Shinsu can be anything in this tower. It could be a weapon. It could be a tool. You have to work with it. Try it again, but don't think so hard. Just do it. And you can tell she relaxes. And 
she's gently trying to create the bang now and you get the impression that it's starting to flow and you for a split second you can see like an inkling of something and then it vanishes was that was that progress better? wasn't half bad uh, maybe if i wasn't so tired i i could i could do it yeah maybe can you show me again? And I'm gonna ask that everyone mutes. <gasps> except for Gasu. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I think it might help if you show me again. Uh, okay, sure. And Gasu holds out his hand again to create the bang. Okay. And it starts to form, and again, you feel like it's coming pretty naturally at this point. And she looks at it. That's amazing. Can you create more? Uh, more. Uh, yeah, I think so. And you notice that, like, there's a little bit of hesitancy and, and mm -hmm. breathiness in his response. But he, he goes to try and make a second bang. Go ahead and roll Arcana for me. Okay. Oh shit, wait, what's Arcana? Arcana? Okay. Arcana. 17. Okay. This is definitely a little scary for you. Um, but you you feel the flow, the channel of the of the Shinsu, and you hold up another hand, and it slowly starts to form and Leaf is like looking at it like mesmerized and then your head starts to hurt you start <clears throat> to get a headache a migraine <sighs> mr mr gasu <sighs> and you start to hear voices in your head voices that don't make any sense and there's just this high-pitched sound in your eardrums and you just hear mr gasu 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 and it's all starting to get more and more and finally, it gets to be too much, and lightning erupts around you. And, and Leaf kind of jumps back, and there's a gust of wind that float, flourishes, or something that pushes her back. And then slowly, it starts to dissipate. And you hear the voices, and you hear them saying, love, love, and... Jijong, Jijong, Jijong. What? What? Mr. Gasu, are you okay? And Gasu sort of looks at Leaf with like worry and like fear. He's completely taken aback by what just happened and doesn't even know if he could like, you know, it, it's taking time to process what just happened to him. She's right next to you. <sighs> what was that? Are you okay? Should I get help? No, no, no. I'm... I'm fine, I'm, I'm fine. I'm gonna go get I... Wu, Mr. Wu. No! Leave! Don't... go... anywhere. And whatever you do, do not tell anyone about what just happened. Do you understand me? I won't. Promise me. I promise. I won't. Okay. I'm fine. I just... And you notice something on the wall in front of you. It looks as if it's seared into the into the wall. And it's got these markings as if it's very fresh. What is this? And as you walk closer to it, you see, it's it's not perfectly etched, but it appears to be a skull, and behind, and around it you see stars, and then a circle kind of enclosing it, and it's you've never seen this before, but at the same time it feels familiar. In okay, some strange who, way, like goes to like reaches out to try and to touch it. What's, what, what are you looking at, 
Mr. Gasu? What? You, you don't... And when you look back, it's no longer there. Gas, Mr. Gasu, are, are you okay? <sighs> I, I feel like you should go to the hospital wing. No, no, no. I'm fine. I just... <laughs> It's been a long day. Uh, why don't we, we'll pick training up later. I just gotta lay down, you know? Okay. <sighs> Roll perception really quick. Okay. Roll perception really quickly. Um, 15. 15. You were so caught up in the emotion and everything that happened and the wall and the, everything that you've sort of just now realized that despite everything, the 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 burst that just happened, it didn't, and it seemed to expand from all around you. Leaf seems to be okay. And she's standing right next to you as, you know, nothing had seemed to happen to her. Um, I'm going to get going now. But hopefully you feel better soon, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, of course. Okay, um, I'll see you, see you later. And she kind of looks back worriedly and exits the training hall. And as soon as she leaves, Gasu has this moment where he sort of, like, falls to one knee and quietly says to himself, like, What's wrong with me? What happened? <sighs> I'm going to ask everyone to unmute. <clears throat> Return if I have. Welcome back, everyone. I, I too have welcome. returned. Two music drops, though. Hmm? <laughs> that, just let the music ride at least. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, it's so funny because when you're out. not when you're not in the the like you're not the person in the moment you notice that, but like just being in the scene, I'm like, oh, the music changed? I, I didn't even... <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you're looking at all these animated hand movements and shit. <laughs> Trying to pick we up were dying. Anything. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> Apologies. All right. That's part of it. So, <clears throat> is everyone, so, so you're, you're, you know, did the whole thing with Brooke, got so you're doing that. Everyone else, am I to understand you met up in the cafeteria? Yes. yes, sir. But Damien, did you want to do anything in particular? <laughs> yes. I descend from the ceiling, riding my lighthouse. <laughs> Flux Volk, play the mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, did the music play? <laughs> oh my god. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what I want is to sail the darkness of the cosmos with this planet as my vessel, as just as my mother did so long ago. Man, then one day watching. we'll find a new planet, and on its soil we'll create a shining future. <laughs> what? What up, Lucy? <sighs> and at the end of your speech, as you descend from the heavens, Fluxfalk just claps. <laughs> <laughs> I gave, her, I gave him finger guns. I'm like, yeah, we nailed it. <laughs> that was amazing. Like, oh. If anything, you got to keep can it. We, can me and Gosu walk it at the same time and just look sure, at each sure. other, please? Yeah, yeah. You all saw that. You all saw that. Come what? on. It took Damien thought... forever to, to get there anyway. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> you have no idea how long that took to set up. <laughs> I raised my hand over at Fluxvolk, like giving them, trying to give them a high five if they understand what that means. She kind of looks up and then raises her hand. And then I slap her hand and I'm like, yeah! <laughs> that was so much fun. It was, right? <laughs> oh, these two, bro. Uh, Eden is just sitting yeah. there with like the most bewildered face and just staring at Damien like, <laughs> what was that? Uh, Brock goes, huh? The frog can float now. Crazy. And then he just goes to try to go get food. <laughs> okay, sounds good. You I'm all are getting your food. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough, fair <laughs> enough. Um, 
I'm gonna say that when Gasu and Leaf entered the training hall, the doors were closed. Just making that up. Okay. But then when the, uh, Leaf exited and made her way towards the table, and then Gasu ended up exiting. And that's exactly when the thing with Damien went down. Gotcha. Yeah. Got you. Just for clarification. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're all sitting at the table. Um, Wu, you arrive, like I said, and you're eating, you grab some food. Was there anything you wanted to say for during this time? Do we want to play out this scene? Yeah, it's up to you, bro, honestly. Okay, if there's nothing important, I'm just gonna say that like dinner goes by pretty peacefully with you all sort of just talking about class, going over everything. Um, and Stexa says, hey, Damien, Apparently, we're going to have an activity together tomorrow. <gasps> that is so exciting! Yeah. Oh, more exciting than class, that's for sure. Well, I thought you said H1 was going to be somewhat interesting. You don't find her interesting? Her voice is the most boring thing I've ever heard. But she has a lot of information, though. Maybe you should try and be more receptive, Stexa. Oh, I've learned a lot, thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of oh, her wait. favorite students, thanks to me. <laughs> I'll admit, I mean, if you, you can try and transfer her to the lighthouse class. No, she can't. I have, She's right where she I is. have no qualms <laughs> with my teacher. Well, isn't Flux that Flux. great? You okay with this? Flux, Flux, you said Flux? Yeah. Mm. I think so. Don't you, know, you the think spider she's pretty girl, great? The spider girl was pretty impressive during the crown game. I'll admit. For not being one of my friends, you're okay. And then she gives da uh, Victor the evil eye. Oh. What, what, what? Knock it off. Knock it off. Wait, who? To who? <laughs> I say that to Flux. Okay, at this point, I wouldn't even oh, be damn. surprised if it was to Victor. Flux. <laughs> no, no, I'm not that mean. I'm just Flux, Flux I'll, turns. I'll lean over to Victor yeah. and whisper, you see, she's protecting you, bro. You got this. And you feel a sharp <laughs> kick under the table. <laughs> Flux, Flux turns to Eden. There you are, the woman of the hour. How have you been? It's not been my best day. Mm-hmm. You seem to be better, though, than what I heard. And I'm glad. And what did you hear? Oh, was I not supposed to know? And she looks towards the other dudes at the table. And kind of gives like a, uh, she kind of like squints her eyes a little bit and looks at the ones that she looks at. Like, she didn't know that they had gone and met meet with her. Oh. <laughs> oh. Damien decided to come and pay me a visit. And Gasu. I did. I thought that Flux's help would be invaluable during the investigation. Well, did anyone notice anything off today? I have something, but I can talk about it later. Okay. I have something too, but um, it's more so pertaining to Damien. Frog. Oh. When did you get so close to her? Well, I've been teaching her to be more sociable. You know, so she doesn't say anything like, you know, like how we're her favorites. He's still saying that, Damien. I mean, it's, it's been one day. <laughs> <laughs> we're working on it. In return, the, I figured I could help her, I could help Flux, and she can help with the investigation. Hmm. Quid pro quo, you know? That seems logical. logical. We're all talking again, so uh, about that help. Oh, yes. Well, I think I'll be finished in the morning with my investigation, if you would all like to meet up. Because now the five of you, the six of us, we're together again. And she looks around the table. The seven of us. Happier. The seven of us. Or, you know, like the, the ten of us, if you count. <laughs> Uh, Leaf stacks a Shion. Damien, you make a good point. No, a Damien, lot I, of us. No, Stex and Leaf will never get anywhere near you, fucks. No offense. You're lovely today, by the way. Thank you, Wu. You're not so bad looking yourself today. 
<laughs> Eden like, chokes on what she was drinking. I agree with Wu. Stay away from Stexa. Dex is like, guys, I can, I can handle myself. It's all right, but thanks. And you can she's tell she's touched. Level. She seems touched by the, the actions. Um, okay, dinner continues, and you eventually, um, Victor and, well, Eden, you receive a message, um, and it says, hey, this is Nissan. Feel free to bring anyone else that you want to with you tonight. I give... Victor, very quizzical look. Um, Victor, quick sidebar? Sure. Training, training hall? Yeah. You make yeah. your way there. <laughs> uh, hey, well, so what do you think? What's uh I don't... What's this about? I, you, the message. Yeah. Now he wants us to bring people, but he wanted to talk to us privately? No, I don't think he ever wanted to talk to us privately. I think he's clearing it up, but... Oh. It still seems odd that he'd, like, wait till now. Yeah. I don't know. Should do you think alone? we should bring anybody, or do you think we should scout it out? I mean, honestly, the five of you seem like you're a whole tag team that sometimes is alone, but sometimes Victor, has us. Victor, you're part of the group. Stop trying <sighs> no, to self-exclude yourself. I'm just being honest. There's something about the five of you, apparently, that is interesting to them. So I think at least the five of you should go, and I'll tag along, too, because I appreciate that. Victor, you're part of the group just as much as anyone else. More than Boris? <laughs> Boris hasn't talked to us since the crown game. He's, he self-excluded himself. That's his problem. Yeah, his yeah. interpersonal <laughs> family <laughs> issues. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. Happy to hear that. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, my God. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> I was gone for five episodes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So I'm gonna say, uh, for the sake of time, there's a couple more things that uh, I want to get to. So okay. um, I think we should tell them. All right. Whoever I trust your judgment on this one. Okay. All right. Um, I send a quick message to the squad. Like and say, squad or a squad? No, squad the squad. just black team squad. Black team squad. <laughs> black team squad. Okay. And chat, man. I say, yeah. very, I, I just, short message, uh, Victor and I need to speak with you in the training hall ASAP. Leave everyone else out of it. Oh, so much for all that. Never mind. Okay. Everyone, you receive the message. At this point, Shion kind of gets up. <sighs> I'm going to head to bed. See what Boris is up to. And Leaf goes, yeah, I'm exhausted. Today was, um, a lot. <laughs> Did class not go well, Leaf? No, class was, class was fine. <laughs> okay. M M Mr. Gossu's been teaching me. Really? Yeah. Did yeah. Gossu help you? Um, yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> I think I'm starting to get the hang of it now, thanks to him. So, anyway, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right, have a good night. Bye. And Stexa goes with her. Uh, so it's just us with Flux yep. folk, right? Um, so Flux, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Are you making any plans for tonight? I mean, I always have plans. Did you want to come? Cause uh, I... you shouldn't have offered. I'm in. <laughs> oh no! I was just son of a bitch. <laughs> I said no one else. I was just choking. Uh, <sighs> it's Fluxvolk. She's cool. You know what, Flux? I'm not in the mood to argue. Let's go. Excellent. You all make your way to the training hall, and Eden, you see, you know, you see Brack, you see Damien, you see Gasu, you see Flux, you, and you like, you see Flux enter the room. <clears throat> Gentlemen, I thought I said. The squad. I am so sorry. I she hate can't you. can't be reasoned with. Oh, it's so nice of Mr. Wu to invite me. <laughs> well, maybe. So well, maybe Damien and Wu need to take you on a date. Oh, I, didn't, I would love that. <laughs> it's like, what? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Boys, shall we? Um. <laughs> kill me. What have you done? <laughs> 
I'm the leader. You didn't listen to my orders. Deal with the consequences. I didn't do anything. It was who, who insisted on me. <laughs> I didn't oh, insist. I'm just... Damien, Damien, thank you for the clarification. I put a big cheesy hand on Damien's shoulder. Oh, Woo! Since this was your idea, I think you should take her out on a date. Not to confuse her or anything and get closer with her. The rest of us will take care of everything here. Y'all have a wonderful night and we're going to go do our thing. Y'all have a wonderful time. I hear, you know, nighttime strolls are romantic. I'm not going anywhere. They are. They are. Especially when you link hands or arms. Stop it! We have something important to discuss. Flux, I will take you on a date if you promise to leave us alone for the night. Roll persuasion. <laughs> persuasion, bro. Because I need that. <laughs> That's what I happens when you invite people. I love what I've done right people. now. That right there. Bro. Please oh, help me. Help me. Two oh. dates with both of you. She points to Damien and Wu. Amen. I start. I here. start. I just start laughing like. Ah! <laughs> Yo, we doing the tightest laugh. <laughs> the tightest laugh. Great, it's settled then. Perfect. All right, what's uh, fault? We'll see you later you in the morning. Sounds like a plan. And don't forget, meet me in my room early morning. I have something I wish to discuss. Alrighty, sounds good. I'll see good. you then. You have a lovely evening. Ah, oh, Eden. You have a lovely evening. I'll try. <laughs> and she turns try. and slowly exits the room, but before she does, she turns back and gives a little wave and then leaves. <laughs> and I, yeah, I didn't invite her. How could you do this to me? Hey. You know, she's really not that bad. You, you did the one that you came with four dates. <laughs> okay. All right. Gentlemen, 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 we need to actually talk business. Nissan pulled Victor and I aside after class, and he wants to speak with us privately with Scopio, Mr. Regulus, and himself. We just received a message that he also extended the invitation to anyone we thought would be good for the investigation. So I wanted to ask you if you wanted to attend, or do you think we should just go and scout it on our own? We're all going. It doesn't bode well that Regulus and Scopio are there. None of this makes any sense. That's what makes me think it would be better for the two of us to go. If Regulus and Scopio will be there, I don't think there will be any. No, we're Shenanigan. going. Don't you don't you have training? Anyway? Yes, this is before it happens. We we start at seven and we're getting close to six, and that's when they wanted to meet. So that's why I was wondering if it would be better if the two people Nissan confided in go, and then maybe y'all kind of hang around outside. I and we'll report no, I back. I want to hear what Nissan has to say. I, I would say that maybe we should just let the two people go and then the rest of us act as shadow agents in the background. That's no, what I was thinking. Because here's, the, here's the thing. I pull out Race Velger. Bring him! He's really good at writing down notes. <laughs> I mean, you can put him in my quiver. I, I think Race Velger. I, I point at the quiver. <laughs> Here, kind of bend I, have down a, I have a solution for you. If you don't want us to go and you think it's safer, take this. What is it? I had her my observer. Oh. Figure out a few tricks with this thing. Wanted to ask H one more about it, but I can stream your conversation if you just keep this hidden on you. I... <sighs> is that smart? The pro they'll probably notice that. These guys are rankers. That's yeah, they've... but they invite. They're not gonna care. They invited all of us. No, well, uh... but my only thing is, is if, if Nissan, I mean, and to be fair, we are the two in his class. But if he's trying to establish some line of trust, and whether he's gonna pull that rug out or we're gonna pull the rug out, it might be better to establish that first without showing any overt signs of distrust from Victor or myself. Victor, what do you think? I'm not gonna lie. We've already caused enough tension amongst these rankers. I think we should be as honest as possible with them, and that way they might actually be able to share something. The way we went before was the wrong avenue, in my opinion. And I think if we Fair do this, enough. it'll only continue that avenue. Well, I have shit 
Oh, excuse me. I have things to talk about with Regulus, so I want to go regardless. If if Nissan doesn't want me there, he can ask me to leave. Okay. So, we're on agreement? We're all I going? insist on Race Felger. Uh, oh. I'm actually, sure Race Felger's fine. Oh. Yeah, Gasu? Uh... I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to my room. I'm just uh I'm not really feeling well today. Hey, you good, man? What's our what's what's wrong? Nothing. I just training, especially hard. You know, I'm uh. Right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And you notice that like his right hand is shaking. Uh, all right. I stop well, him for a second. You sure you are right, man? Leaf told me that you helped her with training today. She was very happy about it. And Gasu like puts his other hand on Wu's hand to move his arm. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just, just. All right. I'll see you back at the room later then. He'll be okay. Yeah. He's always been good. Sort of makes a beeline for the exit. Get well soon. I've never seen him like that. Oh. Yo, bro. I haven't either. Oh, Kai Whoa. roll like a perception check on his uh, injury. Um, uh, sure. I know the session the session is just to... quite long, but I just want to get a couple more. Yeah clarify it's not an injury it's just his hand like his right. hand was shaking oh yeah. trauma okay yeah, he's just yeah, 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 yeah. that's true not, not mine, not mine. Yeah, fair enough yeah fair enough. Right. Uh, all right let's move on then okay all right you all without gasu start heading towards the office doors eden you notice the guards are no longer there although you do now see um and i should have mentioned this with Wu. i'd forgotten like in that long hallway of the office, there are like people standing at the corners, but they're not preventing you from like coming in. And they didn't over, they were too far away and Brooke took you into her office, Woo. So um, they're just, okay. you yeah. just see them kind of patrolling basically. And increased guards presence. Right, right. Basically. It's not okay. totally okay. empty. I, I should have said that. Okay. Okay. So you all head towards the office, you walk through and you make your way. You see the patrolling guards. They just look at you, but let you pass through. And you walk towards the big double doors to Regulus's office that you had previously been in. And the doors open. And you see Regulus saying, come in, come in. We all, I'm assuming we oh. all go in. <laughs> it's always so impressive going through these doors. Eden kind of takes the, the front of the, kind of stands at the front of the group and arms crossed. All right. You see Scopio. Mr. Sorry. No, she's like, no, so we see Scopio and Nissan. Yep, yep, they're both okay. there. All right, Mr. Nissan summoned us here. You wanted to say something. What is it? I do. And he looks over at Scopio. Scopio kind of sighs and he steps forward. I wanted to apologize if I made any of you feel like you weren't a part of this investigation. It was wrong of me to ask you to assist with this without giving you any proper information. He looks over Regulus. I apologize. He steps back. Thank you, Scopio. We've decided that it is not fair to ask you to assist if we're not going to at least assist you as well in some way. This does not mean we do not, this does not mean we want you investigating and getting yourself in trouble on your own. However, we've come to an agreement that it is important to be open with you as well. Otherwise, we can't ask the same from you. And so, we all apologize. You can tell Scopio is not happy with this situation. Can I insight check all of them to see if it is if they're being genuine in what they're saying? Um, I'm just gonna say check one person. Well, yeah, just one roll for the three. No, I'm going to say, like, uh, do an insight check on someone. Oh, uh, s Regulus. Okay. Right, okay. Uh, that's a 14. From what you can tell, he the situation is as it seems. Okay. <sighs> well, Thank you that all. is very good. Was this the only reason why? And I look over at Nissan... Because previously, Mr. Nissan only asked Victor and myself. So I highly doubt oh, an, an apology I, of this magnitude would just be to us two. He steps forward. That was my fault. I had meant to invite all of you, 
but I had forgotten to mention that. That is m my fault. Can I insight check sure. that? Sure, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, I'm suspicious. I, I wanna say though, and I, I, for the insight checks, like if you do roll low, like mm -hmm. they will know that you're like, something's Scrutinizing. Yeah. Okay. So that was still a, a punishment 15. for it. Okay. okay, he's, from what you can tell, being honest. Like, he okay. did mean, mean to invite all of you. Okay. And Regulus says, well, we want to tell you some of the things we know from what happened last night. Wait, wait, does this mean that now we have access to the evidence because uh, Scopia wouldn't let me get Sponge's things? Mr. Wu, I understand you were quite close with Sponge. Played a few dice games, expressed a few similar interests. <laughs> Well, and he reaches down and holds up a magazine. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Sponge, a man of culture. I slip it into my gourd. <laughs> okay. Was okay. this the only evidence you found thus far? No, but this magazine was something we inspected and there was nothing off about it. It seems from our understanding that Sponge must have left the magazine in the room and must have come back for it when he was attacked. However, that is simply our working theory, and we no longer need the magazine. Um, Sir Scopio thoroughly checked it out. Right, Scopio? Eden shoots Wu will look like, stop it. <laughs> Nissan kind of smiles slightly, but quickly corrects himself. <laughs> we have important information that we wish to discuss with you all. Very serious information. All right, let's hear it. He looks over at Nissan, gives him a long look, Nissan sighs, and he steps forward. We found a few things that were off that night. He shakes his head. One thing, and he looks over at Scopio, and Scopio holds up an image. And you see on this image, a knife with jagged edges and it's coated in blood. And it's resting atop a desk, on top of a desk. And you see papers underneath it that are all red. This was found last night in, and he hesitates, in my office. And he hands you the photo, Woo. So this is your desk? Yes. This is and my you've desk. never seen this knife before. He looks over at Regulus. Well, we actually have. And Regulus pulls out from his pocket the knife, except cleaned. But the moment he takes it out, the blade slithers back into its hilt. And he puts it on top of his desk, and the blade draws out again. This knife belongs to H1. Oh, boy. Interesting. H1 is the only one who can use this knife. If anyone else touches it, he picks it up again. The blade goes back into its hilt. He puts it and back I down. I assume that weapon was constructed by the workshop? He gives you an eyebrow. Yes, it was. Hmm. Is there any... Look at it. Of course, he hands you the knife. Is there any way, potentially, that H1 could be taken over by an entity of some kind or be controlled through Shinsu or any other type of methodology? That is unlikely. The workshop but not is impossible. not present on this floor. If That is not something I am very familiar with, but... All right. I I've assume, never heard of it before. I assume She's the three never... of you are aware of H1's nature, right? They all shake their, uh, nod their head. We are. If that was possible, I've never seen anything like it to H regarding H1. So why haven't you guys taken action yet? If you have the blade, shouldn't H1 be in custody by now? We're watching H1 closely. However, he looks at Nissan. Nissan says, the situation is strange. Do Are we, we to assume that H1 is guilty just because of this? No, you said you had more pieces of evidence. What are they? Hold on, hold on, Wu. Before we get to that, Mr. Nissan, can you pick up the knife, please? Oh, of 
course. And he picks it up and <laughs> the blade withdraws. All right, thank you. <clears throat> what else? Uh, and he hesitates. I'm glad you asked, Eden, because I understand how it looks having that in my office. Mm-hmm. And he just kind of sighs. And he says, I, and he looks over at Regulus and Scopio, I have a secret. But this I'm isn't sure you it, do. I promise. Care to enlighten us? And Regulus and Scopio are kind of like, that's not the point of this. No, no, it's okay, says Nissan. <sighs> I've had many run-ins with people, unpleasant ones. People that tried to use me. And it's left an impression on me that I hate, frankly. What kind of an I... impression? What are you trying to say? There are people out there that want me dead. Let's say that. Oh, well, we can relate on that. <laughs> right. What does that have to do with this? Nothing. I'm just saying that I do have secrets, plenty of important ones. But I promise you, this goes against everything I stand for. Let's table that for now. I have a question. Uh, please. If it was H1, or even if it wasn't, you're saying that this is the murder weapon, correct? It is highly possible. But you haven't confirmed it? We have not. Mr. Now, wait, 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 here is wait, the Eden, interesting one, thing. Eden, one second. One second. I gotta finish this train of thought. Go ahead. What is interesting? Charity performed an examination of the body, and she will come to us with results hopefully tomorrow. So you let we the person match... that was supposed to be on guard conduct an investigation. Sounds fair to me. Okay, continue. Charity is the most perceptive out of us testing administrators, and we have others working with her to ensure that she is not the only one that would make this call. However, tomorrow we'll find out if this blade matches with the lacerations on Sponge's body. Okay, regardless, we'll, we'll, we'll wait till that evidence comes in. My question is, nobody would put a blade that everyone here, especially all of you rankers, claim to know is exclusive to H1. Why would she put it on somebody else's desk and try and frame them when only she can use it? It makes no sense. It's almost as if she didn't do it herself. Somebody else took the weapon from her, if anything. I agree. What I also don't understand is a motive. What motive does H1 have to kill Sponge? The motive Never is questionable to us all. However, one thing is clear, and that is not, and that is that this knife alone does not prove anything. It is simply a piece of evidence. Now, we Mr. have more that I would like to bring up. Yes, Miss Eden? May I ask one? You might not be able to answer this question, but I think it's, it's pertinent to ask. Do you personally have any issues or friction with the people that run the workshop? Could this be no. a plant to undermine your rule of this floor? I do not. Of course, I've had run-ins with the workshop during my climb, and we've even had some doctors visit here from the workshop, but it was for simple things. Like okay. the doors for the dorms and the like. Nothing mm. more. Simply business. Okay. So, so you have... We do have more evidence, more strange things. As Scopio told you, the lighthouses on the night of the murder were off balance. They were not in the proper formation, and they were not scouting the areas that they were supposed to. We can assume they were tampered with. As Scopio also told you, Charity was supposed to be watching these cameras. I understand how she appears, but Charity is a very capable warrior and also a very capable security personnel. She's never failed us before. However... Well, these lighthouses are automated, correct? Yes, these lighthouses are, in fact, very small, tiny lighthouses, almost indetectable for the regular human eye. 
Hence why when you look up in the halls, you do not see them. They are very hidden. No wonder, Scopio saw me. So, the person who... And Scopio, I have to apologize. It seems that the only reason you had no idea is because you weren't on duty. My, my apologies. No, the fault does partially lie with me. We're always supposed to be checking up on how the administrators are doing it. I simply trusted Charity. Question. What? Where was Charity doing all of this? Was she incapacitated in some shape or form? That is curious because Charity, she says she fell asleep. I see that to be a lie. Did someone else corroborate that? That is the question, isn't it? It is very Has strange. She ever... Has she ever fallen asleep on duty before? She says she heard a scream, and that is what awoke, and she immediately rushed to the common area. I've had my own encounter with Charity, and she does tend to sleep at really? random times. Charity does like to take naps, but never on duty. Hmm. At least as far as I know. I mean, it wasn't so much on duty, it was after class. Exactly. This doesn't exactly rule Charity as the suspect either. I just want to make that clear. We are simply How often do you perform maintenance on the lighthouses? Maintenance? Well, you'd have to ask yeah. Charity, I suppose. She I'll takes do that care. just that. Has, have you tested Charity holding the knife either with her own hands or with a lighthouse, potentially? All of us know of the situation with the knife. H1, Charity, Brooke. We all, all right. have held the knife, and the only person when the blade retracted that it worked for was H1. All right. Well, we, we still did. don't know if the knife is the murder weapon, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. And even if it was, who's to say that H1... We don't have to go to the extent to think that some external force manipulated H1. What if she was simply utilized in some way, shape, or form in order for that to be executed? Regulus, you told me that we could come to you with bits of information, correct? Indeed. In fact, and well no offense. No offense to you two. I mean, I kind of trust you guys at this point. Nissan, we're going to have to talk later. But you mind if I come back and speak with you alone after they've left? Again, if it's the five of you, and he looks over at Victor, or six of you, then yes, I would mm -hmm. love, I would love for you to visit my office. The more, the more I speak with you, the better, in fact. Good. It may be more beneficial after we get the results of that test, but like I said, I'm not playing here. I will figure out who did this. And I have a pretty better idea now that you've given me this information. But I only really trust you with it. I, I would also, myself, would like to ask that every ranker have an alibi ready by tomorrow. Question. What what did H1 say when you accused her? She paused for a while and simply denied it. Although she seemed perplexed as to the situation and she seemed to think she was still in possession of the knife, but when she checked her belongings, it was no longer there. Is an observer capable of manipulating a lighthouse? It is possible to hack a lighthouse, yes. Okay. But with an observer? Yes, it is. Okay. Woo. Is there anything special that we should know about H1's observer? I've been trying to get information about it all week, but I don't know too much. She's kind of secretive about that sort of thing. But just trust me when I tell you, I don't really suspect H1. I know it's not looking good, but let me at least talk to her. I agree with Damien. All the rankers should have an alibi by tomorrow. They should have had an alibi already. Well, I would have you know we've already been checking alibis and we're currently figuring out that situation because it seems all too perfect for everyone involved. I no. agree. Mr. Scopio, you said that you were partially responsible because you were on duty as well. 
Were there, no, was there I was anything? not on duty. I simply wish I had checked up on the person who was on duty. Fair enough. If Charity's lighthouses near the common room were the only ones that were displaced, were there any in the office areas that weren't? That could have potentially saw someone coming and going or depositing the knife. You are correct. The office lighthouses were also displaced. Ah. Oh. All right. And where were they looking instead? Ignoring the doorways and the offices and the elevator. All right. Okay. They were showing Regulus's door and other offices aside from Nissan's. All right. I'm going to ask you this, and this is probably going to be kind of a silly question, but, you know, there's no wrong questions in this type of an investigation. Um, how much experience and aptitude do all of you teachers have with controlling lighthouses? How proficient? To be a ranker, you have to have at least some understanding of how a lighthouse functions. It's almost impossible to never have encountered a lighthouse or manipulated one during your climb, but I suppose it is possible. All three of us can manipulate lighthouses, but of course we're not as skilled as H1 or Charity at the matter. Alright. And it's come to my attention that you three are the oldest and most longest serving members of Floor 2 and the Testing Administration. We are indeed. Do you Although, all trust each compared other? compared to me, these two are... <laughs> Fresh little ducklings. Scopia <laughs> kind of rolls his eyes. Yeah, uh, Mama Scopia, are you gonna take that? He's not oh. wrong. I, I I laugh. I uh, give a chug. <laughs> <laughs> Do you all implicitly uh, trust each other? They look at each other. That has been. A topic of debate among ourselves, and something that has obviously been broken because of everything that has happened. Now I understand you have questions, and I would love to answer more of them, but I would like to say one more thing, and that is that Charity claims that she awoke from her sudden nap when she heard a scream. She used her lighthouses to check what was happening, noticed that they were out of, they were displaced, and that is when she came running. Now, Question. Oh. what did the lighthouses reveal when she checked? I'm sorry? You said she checked her lighthouses, noticed they were displaced. She didn't refocus them. Instead, she chose to run to the scene? No, she controlled them, found Stexa and the body ah, on the lighthouses, okay. and then okay. came to run. Just making sure. Just that making sure. the footage sure. seems to show. Mm -hmm. Last question. What was Brooke during all of this? Perhaps another time I can prepare you with some alibis. Because again, we are No, so no, 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 no. Another time. Another time, time is tomorrow I'm afraid morning. we are running out of time. Ah, that's okay. But um, are, are, I can assume that you three are the only ones that know we are investigating? And they look H1, at each other. Charity, and Do Not, or... They know that regulars are looking into this. Oh. More or less, okay. we're keeping everyone involved on the same page. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fair. We're all in this to find like the one of to us me. that is responsible. The so. fact that three of you are questioning your loyalties and yet you feel comfortable enough to call a meeting together is foot. I have to go drink. It also seemed disorder. Regulus, don't you have a training session to we run do. or something? In fact, it is ten minutes until time. Alright, I'll be back later. Alright. waiting, Mr. Regulus. Thank you all thank for Thank you meeting. for the information. And again, yes, thank you. I'm sorry about what happened. We are too. We are too. I whispered to Eden, you're actually, you're absolutely right. For now. Mm -hmm. On the Enjoy way. the training session. Now... I know we've been going on for a long time. I just want to do like one more one more thing. 
if that's okay. Do, do we need to end? Is that fine? Because I know no, time is no, 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 no. We're good? Okay. I'm good. I'm good. I think this will be a good uh, wrapping up point. <laughs> Joe um, has his cliffhanger he's got to <laughs> well, get to. I didn't say that. There. I didn't say that, but <laughs> take it how you will. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, so, SIU Junior. As, <laughs> as every, yeah. As I'm leaving out, mm -hmm. uh, Brack says back to them, the best way for you to catch the traitor is to feed each teacher false information or the ones that you suspect. And whichever information comes back and someone turns up, I don't know, let's say harmed, then you'll find the culprit. They did that wise. in my favorite show, Game of Tones. Oh my gosh, Jono. <laughs> you watched that too, Scopio, Damien? Scopio says that <laughs> the music show? Yes, the one about the deceptive musicians. All trying to be head of the band. Gopio, you watch TV? You're dismissed. We will talk again later. <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right. So you all leave the room, and you, you know you see them kind of talking amongst themselves as the door is shut. And Victor says, "Hey, uh, we should probably uh, get going." But we're supposed to meet here, so it's training hall, right? Oh, that's right. Right. Yeah, let's. So get we'll to step in. we'll meet everyone else uh, tomorrow morning. Luxie, yeah. right? Gotta meet with Luxie. Woo! Ooh, you know, I might sleep yeah. in tomorrow. Yeah, y'all could probably have fun with that. But you're Eden, part of the Eden, squad. Eden, Eden? she yes. scares me. Okay. Oh, she scares fair. me. Fair. I'm just, she scares I'm me just too. saying. All right. <laughs> she scares me too. But if you don't want to be a part of it, I understand. She doesn't seem to like you. I'll but think about it. She needs to get over it, so. Okay, so I'm gonna see you all share your goodbyes, and as you make your way towards the trading hall, you see Boris sitting in there. Boris, y'all remember Ari Boris? Yes, we gotta you dust remember the, old the boy. Off. There Look he at is. this guy! <laughs> A round of applause for this guy. Woo, he's back. He's alive, alive and well. You see Last him. Last time just... I remembered him, he scraped his knee. <laughs> oh no. Where the hell have you been? It's none of your business. Now, where's, when's my uncle coming? I don't know. Check the time on your pocket. <laughs> he checks it. He should be here by now. He's normally early. Where were you two? Why do you want to know? Yeah, why do you want to? Yeah. Says like, oh. <laughs> Eden's yeah, ears. why do you want to know, boss? Yeah. Frustrated. Frustrated. Eden's ears kind of yeah, go China? red, just like. Oh. <laughs> oh, All right. Simple curiosity. Mmm. You're curious about us. We're curious about you. You don't give answers. We don't get answers. We're all on the same page. Right? I'm just here to, and then you, the doors open to the training hall, and Regulus says, there you are, and he walks over to Boris. <laughs> Nephew, and he gives him a big old hug and squeezes him tight. <laughs> Boris is like, Eden, uncle, Eden's please. Eden is trying not to die of laughter. She, she has, like, Victor by the arm, and she is squeezing it so tight. Just buried her head, boy? Like, on his shoulder. Just it's like, about time. Not... Please tell me Regulus has a nickname for Boris. <laughs> Heisfelger is still in, in, in the quiver. You right? are, yes, Heisfelger is still in my quiver. <laughs> oh, right, right. Oh Just don't. Uh, come on. Aww, that's so. Victor, <clears throat> Victor, isn't that just so precious? Familial adorable, bonds. Adorable. What are those You'll like? Do you know what those are like, Victor? Oh, I wish I knew. My family. I is wish I knew too. Up. <laughs> well, should should we mirror the hug so Boris doesn't get so red in the face? Sure, come here, Eden. Oh, oh, Victor. Uh. Oh. <laughs> and Regulus what just <laughs> starts laughing. We won't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> He's just looking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall again. Oh, you still have my wait. You still got my uh, my observer. I'm streaming this live. <laughs> Let's go. Upload it to uh, two tube or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> tower tube, tower tube. There you go, tower tube. Um, oh, it's good to see you, lad. Now, are we all ready for some training? 
Absolutely. <laughs> Victor goes, yeah. And Boris just <laughs> starts shaking his clothes. And Regulus takes off his coat and. Oh, shit. <laughs> takes off the coat. Do we have shirtless art? Do we have shirtless art? No, I'm sorry. Oh, I'll, okay. uh, I'll work oh, on Oh, my that. heart is broken. I'll work on <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but you do notice, like, it's kind of hard to tell with the robe, but he is built. This guy is Ooh. muscular. It is very, you know, yeah, you can see part of the robe, but like, <laughs> sign some muscles. Mm. Uh, all right. Today's training session is intended to be an introduction to fighting. Boris says, Uncle, I know how to fight. Uh-uh. Fighting is an art, Bori. Something we must all learn. <laughs> Oh my god, he calls him Bori. Oh, that's gold. Now, Victor, Eden, Boris, mm. we will start this training session by mm -hmm. all of you using your current weapons, whatever you wish, and giving cool. me your all. And she snaps open the bow. Let's go. Excellent. All and right. he just stands there. Doesn't, exactly. doesn't take out a weapon or anything else. Are we, like, just supposed to attack Victor's you, like, or...? And then Boris goes, Nrrr! and he charges with his sword. Oh, my! His, uh, oh. <laughs> his uncle. Uh, I'm going to say everyone roll athletics. Okay. Or Boris, Victor, because we're not going to have a full-fledged oh. fight, obviously. Yeah. You said athletics? Yep. Okay. Right. Oh! Well, that dice is gone. Down, gone to the ether. <laughs> it's gone. It's, it's gone it sure forever. is gone. It's gone forever. <laughs> 14 plus 18. 14 plus 4. All right. I had to get are, you, are you using your bow, by the way? I am using my bow. Okay. You're firing arrows, and Boris is swinging his sword, and Victor's trying his best to get a hit in. And Regulus just has his arms crossed, and it's very odd because you don't see. You, you swear he's not moving, but the attacks are not hitting. It's very odd. You don't see any movement coming from whatsoever, but everything just seems to be flying by, and you—you—it's a very strange phenomenon. Mm. <laughs> You'll have to try harder. Roll again. You treat me like okay. a ginyu force. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I got a dirty twenty. Oh, okay. Why are my dice working? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's a very strange. Phenomenon. I guess because I They've sacrificed really the one today. to the ether. It's yeah. <laughs> So Victor also, he Victor seems to be kind of, you can tell he's reading his movements. And for a moment, you see Bo, uh, you see Regulus move for a second. And very, very slightly, but you at least saw movement. And then your arrow comes flying and he catches it. <gasps> well done! Exactly. And then Boris is just, and Boris is not <laughs> landing away. anything. Yep. Oh no. Poor baby. You must be accurate. You must hit your target. Roll acrobatics. Oh. Uh, 16. No, 15. I can math. It's great. <laughs> 15. All right, all right. You're trying your best. The battle continues. And, you know, he, he's hyping you up more and more and trying to get you. And you're starting to sweat. And suddenly, he starts moving towards you. And he, he seems to want to attack you, Eden. So mm -hmm. I'm going to ask that you oh. roll uh, acrobatics again. Okay. Yo. 17. Okay. You you could definitely tell that like he gave you a a, a, a moment Big tell. and you managed to yeah. duck and he and he tries to attack you again and you you you're doing whatever you can to dodge the attacks. Very good, Eden. Very good. <laughs> this is the most animated you've ever seen him. <laughs> and he's trying to hit Victor. And Victor seems to be dodging the attacks as well. And he goes for Boris, and he boom, hits him in the stomach, and Boris <laughs> just spits oh, out. <laughs> oh, poor little Bori. Come on, Bori. Like I'm fan bro. <laughs> oh, personal. You can do this. <laughs> you can tell Boris. Yeah, Boris. Boris. <laughs> Boris, use our family's techniques. <sighs> Never, says Boris. Why not? He, yeah, what? And the, the fight continues and continues. And... Eden, you get the impression that suddenly he seems to be now focusing on you, you know, giving mm -hmm. you a lot of, telling you what to do, telling you what to do. An hour yep. goes by and he's taking turns going back and forth. Eden. Yeah. 
Fire! You have to fire more consistently! Predict where uh. I'm going to move! Okay! And the fight continues and continues, and he's continuing to hammer down on you. You can do this, Eden! Show me your power! The fight continues, and he, it seems to just be ramping up more and more, and before, you know, it was definitely a light heart, you know, he's, he's having fun, but now he, he seems to be more serious and being like, Come on! Mm -hmm. Come on! And you start to feel pressure. And now he's now he's starting to land some light blows, light, but you're still you're still getting knocked back really hard. Right. And it, and Victor and Boris are kind of just like trying to keep up, but he's he's focusing on you so hard, so hard, so hard, and he's just yelling and yelling and yelling. Can everyone mute except for Eden? <gasps> oh. Hi y'all! Oh my god! And back out in the cold. <laughs> Eden, you can do this. Are you saying anything back? I'm trying. <laughs> she's kind of like okay. she's more really... frustrated at herself than anything because right. she's she really is trying very very hard. And it's he's it. It definitely feels different. Like he's really 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 pushing you. Mm -hmm. So I would say you're starting to most likely feel a lot of pressure on you. Like. It's overwhelming you a bit. Okay. Think of your family! The minute he says that, she freezes. Everything comes to a grinding halt. And his punch stops. And she takes that moment to uppercut him. Okay. As you go for the attack, you feel this rage within you. And even though when you hit his chin, you can mm -hmm. tell you didn't budge, you just feel this pure, suddenly, and it, it, you know, you're obviously angry, but you feel this rage building within you and you feel hot, warm, and it's rising throughout your entire body. Do you wanna like hit him again, Pop, perhaps? Um, so after she, she uppercuts him, yep. she's going to, with her other hand, grab one of the the arrows out of her quiver and she's going yeah. for the jugular. Sure, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So she's going to try and stab him. When you grab the arrow and you just, in your immense rage, this is very, and even, you can even tell like subconsciously like something's wrong. And right. You, st you start to get this migraine and you start to ache. Mm -hmm. When you move, Regulus ducks down and flames spurt throughout the air in front of you. Oh, oh shit. Uh... Can I and roll the dodge? You, and you just and just voices are heard inside your head, and you you get oh, down onto your knees, and shit. you're panicking, and and you don't know what's happening, but you just feel this heat all throughout you. You feel like you're burning up, and you hear voices echoing through your head, but you can't make them out. And you hear Eden, Eden, and you're just. I'm. She's screaming like loud. Yeah. Yeah. Guttural. Yeah. Desperate screaming. Eden! And then suddenly, Regulus's voice snaps you back, and you, you, you feel the migraine start to melt away. And Victor and Boris, or Victor in particular, Boris just watching from afar. And then now, Victor, he's like holding you. Eden, are you okay? Eden! Eden! What the fuck did you do? And Victor steps in front of you and like holds his spear out in front of Regulus. Stay away from her! What did you do to her? And Regulus stares at you, and he looks at you in a way that he's a very different look. And her eyes are like bright, bright red. They're almost they're almost burning the same as the flames were now. She is pissed. But you can also see at the corners of her eyes, there are tears dripping down her face. Boris is looking on as well. Uh, Uncle, dismiss. I'm gonna ask again. What did you do? Eden, what you just experienced was nothing that I did. Bullshit. Do you see anything? I Look see around. your stupid you see face. Anything? Eden, do you I see, see your stupid face. 
Let's see, Victor. You're looking around. Next. Roll perception. Oh, shit. Uh, it's a dirty 20. Keep rolling 16s. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Something catches your eye behind, or to, to your left. You were near uh -oh. a wall when this happened, and you, you look, and something seems like it's seared into the wall beside <gasps> you. And you see what appears to be some kind of open, gaping, toothed mouth that is spewing, and there's a circle surrounding it, and it looks like the whatever it's spewing became the circle around, and you're just staring at it on the wall. Do you see you anything? Kind of there's a mouth on the wall. It has flames around it. A creature? It, it does seem to be some kind of creature. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's to my left on the wall. He, he and she's like kind of, she's kind of like backing towards Victor like to, like, for some sort of like comfort shield, any type of like. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely like support. trying to keep you away. Eden. What? And you feel slowly, you're still shaking, but the migraine is melted away. And Regulus says, it's as I feared. And <laughs> this sucks to do, but we're going to end the session there. Oh my I'm gosh, I hate you. I, I, I hate, <laughs> this is the first time that we're doing this where like everyone doesn't see it happening. I feel bad. <laughs> why, 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 why? Why would you? Why? Um, hey, everyone. Okay, son. Hi, son everyone. To be unmuted. Hello. Joe uh, is evil incarnate. So uh -oh. maybe son hasn't seen the message. Uh, we're we are ending the session here. I oh, I'm really her. sorry. I'm really sorry that this is like <laughs> this isn't gonna be oh, something good. that we normally do, but this is kind Bro, of a packed stream. Made. Progress was made. Yeah, yeah. A lot of progress. Lots of lots of progress was made. Yeah, yeah. We Joe? covered a lot of ground. Yes. Our, yes, SIU Junior. You had this planned. I know you did. I really was like, okay, all right, we gotta, we gotta get to some point here. So no, mm -hmm, but we made a mm -hmm. lot of progress. It was great. It was fantastic. We did. We did. I, I only we did. <laughs> only feel bad that we're ending the session on a mute, but you know, helps add to the intrigue, right? Uh, so that's the end of day three. That is the end of day three. Yeah. Okay. Kind, kind of. We're not technically done. 99 percent 99 percent we'll make the end of it quick next yes, week yes it's definitely going to be like a minute especially uh -huh. for the sake of time yeah but yeah oh my gosh quite a stream a lot oh happened uh, thank you all nice. for staying for so long yeah i i appreciate you all watching for, for watching and, and for the cast members for dealing with the the muted sessions um yeah. You know, they're oh, yeah. a lot of fun, and uh, I think they definitely add a lot. So, Sorry, the Muta Club is fun, you know? <laughs> so, oh, Poor Muta Club. Yeah. All, we love you. <laughs> Make sure you talk about your favorite part. <laughs> and tell us why it was the one where Damien descended from the ceiling, quoting it, Sephiroth. Look, look, definitely. And, yeah. Oh, oh my. Oh, my gosh. All right. That was fantastic. But thank you, Joe. Yeah. You <laughs> You oh, no, are just traitor I, of madness and cliffhangers, you? I, I apologize. No, <laughs> no, no thank you. stop apologizing. Leaf, stop apologizing. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> yeah, Cal Silver, I'm sorry. stop apologizing. I mean, I'm not sorry for for everything. <laughs> ha, take that. Exactly. Uh -huh. right. Cliffhangers, apologize. increase engagement. Uh, don't be <laughs> sorry. Do not be sorry for bringing a massive amount of entertainment to my Friday night. All right. Yes. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, I look forward to this. So much, so oh, much. Thank you. It makes thank you makes yeah. me so happy. Thank you. You know, I'm super happy. And, and muted gang is fun, you know, because then I get to post memes. That is true. There <laughs> you go. go. There you go. Emilio's, as soon as you say, Emilio's is on fire. With his <laughs> he is. He really is on point with him. I'm reading through the chat now. Oh my god. I got to check this out later. That's awesome. Yeah, but thank you all so much for watching. Remember, yeah. life goal of 350. That's a Pretty high bar, but I think we can Let's reach go. it. I believe in you guys. Uh, That's right. So. Get this to 400, 500, 600. Oh, oh my gosh. All right, 350. You know, what's the time? I respect it, though, <laughs> Joe. I respect it. Get, if we get one like, Joe will smile on stream. Oh. I think we've already. Wait. 
Dot. You, Joe, or other Joe? Other Joe. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh, that's Wait, special. What? You Wait, mean really? you that's special. camera? That's it's face real. Wait, Wait are no, you? I mean. Uh -huh. Wait, no, I meant I meant the DM Joe, not me uh, Joe. Uh, <laughs> and everyone's other Joe, other Joe. <laughs> no, fair enough, fair enough. I've been we'll on Joe's stream do. already. That if is you want to see my he face, go on to one, one of Joe's other old videos where it was, we talked it was about an old Tower of God reaction. That is true. Well, if it does get to a thousand likes, we're gonna hold you to that other Joe. So just yes. get over it. You can do one session on camera. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. Wait, but if <laughs> uh, okay. I'll right, just right. Oh, I'll no, no, I stay out of this. I was no, going to no, no, say, no, no. hold I on a second. Great. I do not partake, uh -huh. okay? Fair enough. All I right. will call Best Buy and ask for one of those if web you get... cameras. <laughs> right. That newfangled technology. <laughs> if this gets to a thousand, uh, a thousand likes, we'll all sing Silent Night in our characters' voices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, hey, that's easy. We'll all sing one I, I, I agree to that. Backwards. Back what? No, not backwards. <laughs> We'll film the first episode of Game of Tones and just yeah, all we'll read it. <laughs> we'll read, read the entire script of Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh my! God. That all right, that's all about so copyright, bro. And it's also copyright. copyright. <laughs> yeah, but that. only playing music from from 2020. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, if you all enjoyed Don't the episode, join the promises. join the Discord server down below. Check out the wiki. Feel free to add to the wiki if you if you would like. Join the wiki team. It's also awesome. And of course, all these wonderful out. actors who stuck around for over four hours, their links are all down below. Go show them some support. Woo! Go check them out. But uh, yeah, otherwise, we'll see you next Friday for episode 10. Yeah, make sure ending on another cliffhanger with Eden crying. Make sure to pay your respects to Sponge, who unfortunately uh, could not make it. Sponge. True. And can yes. we get a shout out to the artist for making that incredible artwork? Shout of out. Poor Sponge. Reno Yama. Link is also down below. Yes, go support oh. them. They're awesome. Absolutely. They're awesome. All right, take care, everybody. We love you. See you next Friday. Good night. Peace. Peace. Take care. Peace. Why are you ending?